well, that's the first thing the, you know, they hear. You know, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hey, welcome hey, in, everybody. <laughs> welcome to uh, Bats of Goblets and Warlots, where we finally welcome. relaunching Order the Goblet with a fairly new cast. Welcome. How is everybody tonight? It's lovely and great, wonderful to have you all here. It's been forever since we've been talking about this and been trying to get this thing going. And But, you know, when you create a whole new world for this campaign, stuff kind of gets put on the bat burner and making sure everything's somewhat low key right and you know we had our dark sessions we had to do and scheduling because somebody in this game was in the jungle in africa so we mostly blame him south america <laughs> or is it south america <laughs> south america oh, yeah oh i know Some, uh, one of those a jungles buddy somewhere. of mine that's in the reserves is about to go to africa so he's about to go to Ju actually he might be there he left yesterday so uh, that's where I had Afro on my mind, but anyway, I did previously work in Africa, but I was in the desert then and not in the jungle. You you go all the world, man. It's hard to keep track. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody for the lovely hype train. I guess just to say that three gift is sub gifts. Was there was there sub gifts? I just uh, know there's some resubs. Two yeah. primes and a sub. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, I no, said three th primes. Sorry. Total no three gift, sub dude. gifts. That's kind of weird. I don't know why it says that, but whatever. Uh, well, thanks for the lovely subs. Uh, thank you, Zoldi, Famous Games, True Weasel. Thank you for the primes and the sub. And uh, we got a lot of D sits that's coming in. D sits to Kalis, D sits to Arunus, D sits to Manny, D sits to Jean Pierre. Uh, there is, if you're first time in our channel, these are the rewards you can help with the campaign uh, or the players in, within the campaign. I forgot to turn on the music. Let me pull the music up. Let's get some kind of background because it's kind of blank in my headset. Let's just do some origins, I guess. Um, and then Providence gets a D6. Well, yeah, well, you better stock up on them now. And glitch gets another D six. Wow. God. I have a feeling we might need it at lower levels because that's when people tend to die. Mm. I mean, geez. There's another D six to fame. So many D sixes. So <laughs> many. Ew. So many. Sweet. Well, let's turn it over to our lovely streamers in the chat. JR the nerd. Uh you were just streaming like uh yesterday and the day before and stuff like that and uh yeah Ooh. what you got going on lately um i have been off streaming for a minute because i've been busy working and i just uh picked that back up again we've got kind of a not scheduled not planned random as fuck one shot thing that's not really one shot it was a one shot maybe like nine episodes ago but now we're on our ninth episode of the one shot that i don't really plan for um, so we've been doing that periodically. Uh, we got a good group of girls. It's pretty fun. Um, they just uh, were, they're actually in the jungle too. So I, I'm doing the jungle vibe. We are going to start up at some point again with Hollow Quarters. I still need to just kind of like decompress and figure out when I'm going to do that. And also I want to start Tomb of Annihilation at some point, but who knows when that's going to happen. Those are on yeah, the we, books. we got to figure out how dead and and Darius is so. <laughs> also, Whether you got uh, choked out by the assassin vines or yeah, not. Yeah, those vines are killer. <laughs> anyway, uh, we also have several with, with us. Yes, hi. Uh, probably, hopefully, stream Tuesday. We'll see for Labyrinth theme, some spooky games. But I'll definitely be back on Friday for Apex with the guys. So, super excited for that. With that being said, uh, our announcements are for next month is our charity event for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're giving to Breast Cancer Research or stretch goals for the cast. I do have Silver Wolf and Roar Tender in the game tonight. We'll be within that, helping that out. And in collaboration with Loot Studios, there will be giveaway every night. So if you know somebody with a 3D printer and or have a 3d printer yourself you can enter in and get a uh, free pack on courtesy of goblets and warlots so 
Make sure you tune in for that every night. It'll be every Tuesday night in October, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you tune in for that and give in. It's going to establish an important plot point in the world that we are building here. It takes place 500 years before this start of this campaign. That being said, uh, oh yeah, if you remember the Discord, the current giveaway this month is a poodle dice. There are little, little poodles inside the dice and a little white, I guess, doggy, whatever, inside of them. So make sure you join the Discord and, uh, you know, uh, They're really enter cute. in for that. Yeah. I love dogs. I want one so bad. <laughs> yeah. You got to make sure you enter. Yeah, well, that being said, can you do some gold tonight's here, right? episode uh, with the new revamped same song, but intro. So enjoy the intro, grab your goblet, sit back, and let's dive into episode one of Order the Goblet. Welcome in everybody uh, to Order the Goblet, episode one. Welcome to the world of Vetus. The year is 3157 AD. Two years prior, the princess of the elven nation has gone missing. And for two years, the nations of Lostran, Lost, oh, Jesus. Last of all, man. No, how do I say it? Uh, <laughs> I've been saying the way it's spelt is Lestrotin. Lestrotin. There we go. Jesus Christ. Uh, the nation of Lestrotin, the pretty much the hum mostly humans dwar are halflings, gnomes, like everybody else that lives in that region. And the Dwarven Nation and the Elven Nation uh, with the myth princess gone missing, the treaties have been strained. Tensions are very, very high. Roughly I'm trying to figure out how much I want to reveal right away. The current events is that. After the great Dwarven Wars, where the Dark Hills were pushed out and scattered, they went to their own island and some scattered in different parts of the world. The Dark Dwarves name known as Durigard, also were finally beaten back. And the Dark Elves were taken from the war. The Elven Nation 
pull back from that war. It took many years to get this treaty re-signed after that. But like I said, with the missing princess, it has now become strained. And the Elven Nation has shut their borders and allows nobody in unless they're a true elf. All trade has been cut off. Ne negotiations have completely failed. But amidst the world news, the political events of that surrounds that, our story starts much smaller. Underneath that is this hidden city underground that is kind of unbeknown, kind of lay low. Where we find in the middle of the ocean on a dock not on a dock underneath the ship where we find Manny you're sitting there and you see Kalis asleep as you're trying to focus on these chains that got you bind underneath this boat would you like to describe what your character looks like for everybody? Uh, so Manny is kind of ambiguous looking for the most part. Uh, at the moment, uh, he is wearing a black turban. Uh, he has, at one point, it was probably a nice tunic that is now kind of gross and sweaty since he's been in the slave galley. Um, he uh his turban has a black opal right in the middle um which if you inspect a bit closely you would realize it's fake it's like costume jewelry um and he's got a whole bunch of rings uh he uh he's got this sort of like light in his eyes where he's constantly studying everything around him um constantly keeping track of everything that's going on and and waiting to make his move he, he's clearly someone who sees a lot and you see Kalis he kind of starts staring stirring Kalis what do you look like uh <clears throat> you see a human man uh short kind of brown tasseled hair uh he's wearing like a blue sort of padded tunic uh shirt kind of like you would see somebody put on underneath armor um very very broad shoulders uh and he's got a blue blindfold as well over his eyes all right and man you see kayla start staring what is your passive perception manny uh 13 Oh, no. Uh, yes, that is the truth. With your passive perception and your skills, you catch two individuals in separate cages on the same boat. As they come from their slumbers. Providence and fame, would you like to describe yourselves to what Manny sees? Mm -hmm. uh, fame, do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, Faith is a half orc. Um, she's kind of small for her size. She's about 130 centimeters tall. Um, sorry, in American, she's like four foot three. Um, she looks young, um, like she's probably still in her teens. Um, green skin, green eyes, dark brown hair. Um, doesn't really know what's going on. Providence? Yeah, um, you would see a um, kind of like regular human, um, but 
uh, quite tall. Actually, she's uh, she stands at 182 centimeters or six feet for those of you in America. Um, <clears throat> you see, she has um, uh, quite nice fine features, but she does have like a good tone to her body. Um, she has really gorgeous um, blonde hair that almost billows in the wind, even if there isn't wind. Like she, she's just kind of like that gorgeous person. She has these really, really amazing, just golden freckles on her face. Her eyes are this bright teal color. Um, and she would immediately be looking over over to the other cage for Fane and she'd be, you know, trying to just check on her and probably like reaching out to see if she can reach her. I would try to reach back. As you try to reach for each other, immediately your hands are taught by these chains. Are we, uh, are we so, like chained to the ground? So you're within these cages, Kalis, you wouldn't be able to see this, but well, you're yeah. within these cages, but you have the chains that locked each of y'all inside this cage. So you're like, you're chained within a cage. Manny is going to try to telepathically speak to Kalis. Um, I'll tell you what he says if he doesn't backfire. And you take four away. points of piercing damage as <laughs> the spikes in the cuffs protrude inside your wrist as you try to do this. Okay, Manny just kind of looks over to Kalis and then suddenly he goes, ah, 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 ah. Manny? <laughs> I don't, I, I Minnie, just, are I, you okay? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't know what happened. I, I tried to use my abilities, and I, it was safe to say these chains are more than just chains. Well, where are we? Looks like a boat of some sort. There's some other people here with us. In a cage, each of us. I'm gonna kind of feel around how big is like the cage like if i feel from like about corner to 10. corner it's about a 10 by 10 and is where is manny in relation to me uh manny you hear him on your right side okay uh are are fane and i in the same cage or are we in separate cages Separate cages, just like uh, Manny and Kalis, mm -hmm. ten by ten cages, and mm -hmm. line. They're kind of like the back of the ship. If there is a aft end of the ship, and you're kind of over to the side, y'all can definitely talk and see each other. Uh, hello. I think it, is there is there somebody else in here? Yes. Yes. Who, who are you? I, I'm. Kalis, who are you? My name is Providence. We, uh, do, do you know where we are? I, I feel like we're on, on a ship still. I, I was on a ship and then now I'm in, but this, I don't think this was the same, same ship. No, this ship we were on would have a hole in the ceiling because it pulled me through it. Yeah. Can well, you get out? I kind of like feel around and can I tell where the door is, like, based on a lock? You can't quite reach the door. Those oh. are the chains. Uh, Providence would likely, at this point, try to stand up and pull the chains away from the wall or the ground or wherever they're... they're As you they're, try they're to stand. stand up, the chains are taut and you're stuck kneeling in this cage. Uh, she would just stubbornly still try to stand. Give me a strength check. Yeah, sure. Manny is carefully observing this whole process to see if there's any mechanism you can identify nope. glowing runes or anything. But you get That's a ten. Ten. As you try to stand up, these chains magically shrink and drag you down, and the same spites that went into Manny's goes into your wrists, and you God, take four it. points of piercing damage. Are you okay? Drag down to the cage. What happened? Don't. It don't. What it, happened? It hurts. It just, it stabbed me. What stabbed you? The, I, th I think that the, the manacles, the, the shackles. Mm -hmm. Did Manny observe, like, when they magically transformed, did he observe any kind of action, like, were there 
rooms that lit up on the the manacles? Was there anything he can possibly like? You felt the manacles get. But I will say this, uh, Providence and Manny, you both felt the manacles get super hot for a split second, and then the spikes came out. Then after the spikes came out, they kind of, especially for Providence, yours retracted so that they're much taut and more dread. You're more tied down to the closer to the deck of the ship of the cage uh, Manny yours is not it's the same length yours it yours just spikes you as soon as you try to do your telepathic yeah so Providence is now in like a really awkward position like I don't 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 try and don't try and pull them that, so. that, that actually looks really uncomfortable yeah it's, it's not great can, mm-hmm. Bain, can I hear Bain. anybody like walking up above us or does it sound like there's water splashing outside like Give we're moving perception check. nine nine it's hard to tell you hear the splashing on the side of the ship as you're sailing someplace you're not sure of um and that's really muffling anything else you could probably hear above the deaths the deaths above you oh. Hello, Providence and Fane. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm Manny. Hey. hey. Um, is is our stuff anywhere around us? Nope. If I check my pockets, is cream there? <laughs> Why would you keep cream in your pockets? <laughs> <laughs> he likes it there. Just <laughs> As you look down. Because it's super cute. As you search around for Cream, Cream has this <laughs> manacle and chain around the neck attached to the cage. They put a manacle around my mouth? Are you serious? Is, can I, like, can I hold Cream at least? Is uh, the chain is just long enough for Cream can get in your hand, but you can't lift her up. That's okay. Or he. Um, Is it a he or her? Him. 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 Lift him up. I'm still going to hold him. Fane, it's okay. We'll we'll get out. We'll get out. Don't worry. They chained my mouse. Have a mouse? His name is Cream. He's super cute. He's right here. See? Zen for one. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? You can give advantage to anybody you like. Who would you like to give advantage with your subscriptions in? So yes, you you are able to hold cream in your hand, like taunt out. Like the chains are completely taut without you like um, jerking on the chains to hold them. And then Kalis asked you, you have a mouse or something yeah. like that? Yeah. And I said he's right here, he's cute. See? And as you're looking, Fane, you 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 see that Kalis is completely blindfolded. Mm-hmm. Never I mind, you can't But see I him. will <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Uh, uh oh, Ma- Ma- yeah. Manny, you, you said your name was Manny? Yes. Uh, yeah. what what do you what was the last thing you remember? How did you get here? There were two figures that they just took us from just now, right, Jurgen? Uh, it it was the day, so you got taken, and it was like early morning, and now it is the next day. About a day ago, uh, we had just got into the inn. An inn? Got a terrible deal on the inn, I must say. I. Feel like my services weren't um, weren't fully appreciated. At any point, uh, some people stormed our room and, and, and took us. I don't I don't know what they could possibly want. Um, does this? He looks at he kind of lifts up his chains and there's like a raven etched into them. He, does this does this, does the raven etched into your chains mean anything to you? Me? Yeah. Uh. I know. I've, you don't I, see I, a raven look, when you look at your chains. I don't. I don't see anything. It's it's just a chain man, Manny. 
Huh, I wonder why mine are different. I, like, hold mine out to Manny. Does he have any anything in his chains? You see engraved on his chains is a moon on one side and a star on the right side. Ah, uh, that's interesting. What does he have? Yeah, what is that? I, I think it, it might be related to your deity. Uh, a, a moon and a star. Okay, now I'm jealous. Yeah, does Cream have anything on, on his? <laughs> <laughs> and by extension, do I have anything on mine? You see a fanned out deck of cards on your left arm. You seem to be highly personalized. We must have been targeted in some way. Except maybe your providence. I, uh, what? Well, this isn't good. Uh, providence is going to try and stand up and, and, and pull the chains again because. You might not want to do that. No, I, 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 the reason you reason, providence, you can't really look is because it's so taunt and your arms are kind of pulled behind you, so you can't really get a good look at your chains. Oh, yeah. Uh, fair, can, fair. can Manny see her chains from where he's at, or is it too far away? Too far away. Because the way she's bent and contorted, you can't really see. She will try and escape again. What happened to you guys before this? We were super impressive. You take five points of piercing damage, Providence, as the spikes inject into your wrist again, and they're taught oh, even more. <laughs> Providence, Providence, this may be something my force won't allow us to escape. We may need no, to no. think our way out of this one. There's a way. We can still fight. We just need to... Okay. Right at our time. Every every organization has a social structure. We just need to work it out, analyze it, find its vulnerabilities, and exploit it. And we'll be out in no time. Who knows? Maybe even we'll be in charge of the ship. Oh, that, that works. Uh, we were um, we were we were hired. Impressive security on a ship. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then another ship came and they attacked and oh I killed a couple guys. That was fun. Um, I don't think I... I think I hit a couple guys. You did great. You did great. It was really good. Don't worry. That was impressive, too. She just got the, the final hit on all of them. I got one guy, and, like, one hit was really it was really fun. It's it's important to warm them up first for your, your partner. <laughs> I'm not much of a fighter myself, but I do admire your prowess and can see that the two of you look very formidable. Very. Bane is scrawny. <laughs> <laughs> just since I didn't mention that earlier especially Manny, for like half work just Manny stands by the formidable though as you're all having these conversations the door opens up and what starts walking down it's like almost a dead of night as the stars are coming through this white-haired pale skin eyes redder than anything we've ever seen before <sighs> you're ready to come see a new home now uh twig she takes a look over her promise. The bit dumb ones never learn. Why do they keep doing this? Don't call me that. Hey, hey, come in in here and say that. <laughs> just, just yeah. let me get up off the ground and then, and then come in here. So, yeah, like, because I'm, I'm really back like this. <clears throat> Excuse you, me, I have you a see a uh, white hair, uh, like almost a bluish type skin, uh, clearly an elf of some sort, and like this symbol, like almost tattooed in the middle of her forehead. Can Manny do an investigation check to see if he notices any random details that uh, would help them 
like know more about her or deduce more about her? Um, your investigation you can see is like some kind of like a black flag or your passive investigations, like almost kind of like a black flag. The symbol within the black flag is a little too hard to tell. Does she look like, would Manny be able to class her? Like, does she look like she's got an air of authority, like she's in charge? Does she look like she's more of a she grunt? She has like these deep, dark leather outfit, almost kind of like a shape of a pirate captain type deal figure authority. It's not the same one that you was originally taking on, so. Ex excuse me, miss. Uh, are you a captain as well? <laughs> ah. <sighs> you bumbling idiot. Do you not know who I am? I'm afraid I haven't had the pleasure of meeting you, but I'd love to know more. You currently do not know the Black Order at all, do you? Does that ring a bell? Give me a history check. History, history, history. Where are you, history? These rules are very slow. I'm going to be on today. Well, that well, would well, be he's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> a what? A seven. <laughs> yeah, you have no freaking clue. First three rolls of the campaign, and we can't roll above a ten. <laughs> uh, Manny is, Level uh, three, baby. Manny's, <laughs> Manny's, Manny's going to play it off like he does know, though, and be like, absolutely. It's Give me a deception bad. check. Do you even hear <laughs> Hey, let's go. You've heard of them? Of course. All right. Deception, I did a little bit better. 13 plus 8 is a 21. And keeping <laughs> up with these bad rolls, I rolled a natural one, so. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I thought I was... Oh, wait, no, you're trying to stop. See? I thought you would know who I am. Do you know what my name is, then? You must know. I'm, I'm afraid I'm at such a loss, I... It could be that I've been disarmed by your beauty. Uh, <laughs> am I still wearing my amulet? If anything is valuable or magical, you've been stripped of it. I confess that I'm at a loss at the moment. I'm sure if you remind me, I just will be flabbergasted that I could have forgot. But, uh... She rolled a freaking net one. Uh, Sash <laughs> my name is Zaskia Kyrgios. I am the leader of the Black Order. Is it Dark Order or Black, Black Order? Order? Black, Black Order. Black Order. Yeah, I was right. Z A S K I uh, and Z E S K A C H A. Wow, wow, wow. Z A S K J. Uh, what's your last name? Uh, K I L D U I S. U-I-S, and she is the leader of the Black Order? Yes. And you're on my ship, the Black Harpy. Why are we here? Why is not the question you should be asking. I'm pretty sure it's the question I want answered. <laughs> You are here to serve a greater purpose. Yeah, I'm already doing that. Thanks. We know. But people paid a lot of price for your heads. Specifically, your heads. That is... Mm -hmm. I don't think my head is the part of me that's worth that much. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're currently attached to ours? Yeah. You know, there must it's a be matter some... of figure of speech, my dears. You must. There must be some mistake. I'm absolutely not important for my head to be removed. But while attached, I have been known to advise leaders of various stripes. I could be 
quite useful to you as an assistant. Fanny. As much as I would love that, <laughs> somebody pay a great deal for you to eat, to go where you're going. So gather your food as she ushers a few more of her servants to come down and slice some food. Eat up and eat hearty because you're going to need it. She turns and struts up the stairs. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't, oh, I can't, I can't reach my food. <laughs> she does one of these whips and they uh, release. Well, oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was painful. Can, can Manny analyze this mechanism? Is she using an incantation? Is it like, what is it that she's interacting with to make this happen? And is there any way? He's trying to figure out if there's a way to replicate it at some point. Or you, steal it. So when she turned around, you didn't see her face. She just kind of did one of these. You saw like a bluish, greenish spiral flicker in her hand and the chains untaught on Providence's. Just Providence, it's not yours. Yeah. Would an arcana check or anything give him any hints as to how it works at all? Or? Did I hear her say anything? Nope. It was strictly somatic. Okay. Yes. The chain be specifically connected to her in some way. I guess I'd feel around for the food. Uh, can I yeah. check my can I check my shackles? Yes, yeah, you, once you check your shackles and actually get a good look this time, you see an engraving looks like to be a dove. A dove? She, she, yeah. A dove, yes. I mean, unless she says that out loud, you don't know that. Well, yeah, I just could. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't say anything. I would, uh, or if Providence wouldn't say anything, she would just nod and, and, and look at it and kind of go straight for her food. Actually, she would probably lean over to, to Fane and be like, Fane, Fane, yeah. did we join the Black Order? I Fane, I was waiting for a moment. Fane definitely has just been humming like a nursery rhyme the whole time and just like mumbled kind of under her breath, the order is black. <laughs> um, yeah. I, it, this, it, I don't think... This is joining. Right. <laughs> no, no, I mean, bef I mean before. Like, oh. did, did we accidentally do that? That's that'd be cool, especially because they they brought cream in on it too. Okay. So Buddy pretend it's a mouse and pretend it's not pink. Or Flash, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical. Uh, Manny, give me Arcana check. I'll give you this since you're asking about spells and stuff. All right, that is a 12. You do know kind of what happened to you two, but you're not 100% sure. I can't remember if you roll for this in the dark session or not. Um, you get the vibe wherever was casted, like on you, it seemed to be the same effect that was casted on Providence and Fane. And you get the inkling that any living creature that was caught in the blast was chained. It affects like living creatures. I wonder, is it tied to a, the magic item that they were using when they like sucked us away? Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. And that was a staff that, that they used, right? Oh, you... No, it was tied to the spell they used. Okay, and they just casted it without a magic item. I was just like... What you could tell, because yeah. you were taken in a weird way. Yeah, my ass was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bum-rushed everybody. <laughs> Eventually. I gotta hit it. So... I wonder what her relationship is with Captain Craven. What's <laughs> the Black Order? Um, do, uh, well, do... Sorry, go ahead. 
I, I think actually, uh, given that Fane is attempting to join them, uh, I, I, you should explain. I, I don't want to take away your your opportunity to shine. Um, but but you you said you knew what they were. Uh, you know, in, in passing, who hasn't heard of the Black Order? I mean, yeah, uh, they're even in the nursery rhyme about the kitten in the arena that goes and chops people. There's a Such nursery a lovely... rhyme about that? Rhyme. Yeah. Orca, like, there's an amazing orcish nursery rhymes. It goes, <laughs> I mean, there's that one too, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this one's, this one's just. What's your passive, What's your insight, passive thing? insight thing? Um, probably low. Um, 11. So that's not actually as low as I thought it would be. Manny yeah, does speak Orkish. I'm like average passive insight. Okay, yeah. You believe every word that Manny's saying. Yep. So please, Fane, tell us more about the Black Order. I bet you have the inside scoop. I'm um, really excited to hear. What does a kitten have to do with it? Uh, so, yeah, just ahead. about the nursery run, uh, it's probably, you probably heard a variant of this at some point in your life. It's like I can, a thing. I can assure you I have not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. It's kind of like it's like kind of like Ring Around the Rosie. Um but but the Vetus version, yeah. Um Ring Around the Rena. Yeah. Kitten stabs somebody. Well, no, no. no. <laughs> she didn't chop people in half in the arena. She went to a temple. Um here. Um, I'm, no! I'm just gonna look at Prue now and just be like, I don't know what else to say. Uh, uh, do I know anything about the Black Order? Give me a history check. I uh, sure can. You just Where's history? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Under the eight. 18. Nice. Uh, you remember reading somewhere in your like some of the old dusty book from your cleric days of studying and you remember reading about how the very first leader was Saskia and um, and how she started this oh yeah Saskia was a uh, famous pirate that uh started the black order and she's the original creator didn't you so she's uh and then you you remember that in her late age it was kind of kept a secret of how she got poisoned but she died a slow death from poison that could not be cured yeah that's so, about uh... what you know of the black order yeah, so it's it's like a it's really cool um, pirate organization, um, super secret. But uh, I think uh, what was that? What was that lady that just came in here? What was her name? Zaskia. Yeah, so Zaskia. It's it sounds like the original, like the original original person that started the Black Order was somebody named Saskia. She like, like died of poisoning. It was like super epic. She was she dead? The woman that just came in. Uh, this this would have been like hundreds of years ago. Thousands yeah. of years ago. Was she breathing? When Manny thinks back on it. I mean, it looked like she was breathing. She's talking to you. You can't you can't speak unless you're breathing. I mean, did she seem undead? Is what I was trying to go for. Not from where you were looking at. She did have those red eyes. I wonder. I mean, devils. Do live quite a long time. Kalis is sitting there, and you can see like his face is kind of like contorted in concentration. I still don't understand the kitten. <laughs> it's just the thing the kids sing on, on the playground. <laughs> What does the kitten do? I don't know. 
just everything. Okay. With all of her axes. I think there were five of them. Because because that's what the rhyme says. So, Fane, you were trying to join the Black Order. Is that correct? I'm just going to glance over at Froom. No, 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 we weren't, we weren't trying. No. Oh, you I mean, it'd be cool if, I, I don't know. I just, we, we, um, so, so, uh, we were in, oh, where were we? Was it Port Hellsworth? And, yeah, that sounds like we, such a pleasant sounding name. Yeah. And, and we just picked up a job and it was just like security on a ship. Uh, they definitely looked like pirates, like 100%. They were pirates. Yeah. Um, and so... And you willingly worked for them. Well, they needed security, and we needed money. It, yeah. it, 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 people are part of their circumstances, Kalos. We can't all be the children of the wealthy. Look, I need to... I, look, I, I protect people, and if, if they if they need protecting, I will do it for a fee. But that's, that's my job. I yep. protect people. And I'm Fane's gonna like try to push the arms in a way that it looks they look slightly bigger. We we <laughs> protect people. I, I I would love to receive the benefits of your protection someday when I can afford it and I'm not in chains. Um but the part about the black order, how do they fall into your security contract? I I don't know. I just I just thought that look, look they're pirates. And a lady just comes in and says she's in the secret pirate organization. So I'm just trying to put things together. Right? Like pirates and then ancient pirate thing. As you're having this conversation, each of the cell doors open. All simultaneously. All the chains come detached from the cell. And just like a manic, all y'all jerk together. Is cream okay? <laughs> cream is like hanging <laughs> at the bottom of the chain. We just hear. <laughs> All right, I I I try uh, to my, protect cream. My food. Uh, <laughs> what happened to Oliver? Didn't what just happened? Anybody? <laughs> How close are we? So like, all the chains are latched together, and you're kind of like standing in a circle, kind of facing each other. Yeah. By the way, Providence smells great. Like, legitimately like sunshine. Great. Oh, okay. yeah, like sunshine. Yeah, she smells great. <laughs> Kayla's probably like smells that. pretty sweaty. <laughs> um, and now that he's standing, um, Providence, you said you're about six foot. He's. Mm -hmm about three to four inches taller than you. Providence. She starts standing, yeah, immediately standing throat. on her toes. Me? <laughs> Providence. Okay. Immediately Providence starts standing on her on her toes. Uh, what, type, what type of save? Yeah, wisdom. Ooh. That's a natural one. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> we're, we're starting the strong sudden, today, guys. The sudden jerk of <laughs> the chains you're like you're almost kind of like your spidey senses providence which has happened bunches of times before where fane is kind of got a resistance to it everybody takes five points of radiant damage excuse me um, uh, what's happening round up or down. Oh, oh. huh round up or down oh round up okay uh do you want me to describe this why are you rounding it up uh, she has resistance. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Round up. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, like it was a burn of some kind, maybe possibly radiant damage. So, as everybody can see this, except for Kayla, sadly, uh, as she gets jerked out and the chain is getting attached, her eyes flare up, her freckles just kind of glow this like almost like bright yellow of the sun almost kind of lights up for a second flames wash over her eyes and they kind of subside and everybody takes this point of damage what was that ah, 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 it hurts it hurts i'm not meant for this kind of damage manny ah. manny <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, did it did it happen again? Oh, I... yeah. That what was happened? What happened? What happened? Face? Fain, are you okay? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Fain, are you okay? Takes eight more points of radiant damage. What? Why? No! No! Holy get get away! Just just go go away! Go away! <laughs> We're and, trapped. Um, uh, can Providence run to the end of the room? Did you drop? Us. <laughs> Manny, did you drop? No, I've got 10 left. Okay. I'm close now. Uh, Give me no wisdom yeah. save, Providence. And now Manny's dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a six. Just breathe. As I'm like trying to put cream behind me as much as possible in case another one happens. Um, everybody takes four more points of radiant damage. Uh, at this point, Providence is what probably screaming. What is it. happening? <laughs> Providence. Providence. Sit down for look, a minute. Look into my eyes. Uh, she does, but you just see, like, glowing uh, bright eyes just staring back at you, and she's probably crying a little bit. I want you to count from three to one. <clears throat> with me, each time taking a deep breath. And as you reach one, I want you to sink into cool. Get the hell away from me! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to shove him away. No wisdom save, Providence. Because that's what she's asking. So it's almost with disadvantage after that, but you know. Okay, eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> But I'm, I am trying to get him. Out. So like, many, you might think you, this is actually working, but <laughs> Providence, you're able to shrug off this feeling that you have that you just like, like subconsciously, like your body is like trying to go in defense of something that just happened, and it force, <laughs> like this energy forces out of you, like before, and you're able to block it out or shrug it off or gain control okay. of it. Fain, Fain, are you, are you okay? Fain. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm not okay, if you were wondering. It's, it's okay. Uh, it's... I wasn't. Uh, how uh, much can... hit points does uh, uh, your mouse have? Probably one. It's a mouse. <laughs> you just killed my pet. <sighs> <laughs> you got like a sizzled like... <laughs> can, can we recon that the mouse has radiant immunity? <laughs> uh... No, uh, <laughs> but the mouse it will never die because of reasons. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I mean, so it can die. It just has to be. Yeah. Brought back. So. Oh, it's a Jugen. familiar. Yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> knowing Jugen, knowing that I'm not going to be using a spell for the next action, uh, um, do you mind if I? Li I'm going to say this clearly. I'm going to lay my hands onto Manny. And basically say, I I'm I'm okay. sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? No, just just hold still, just hold still, just hold still. And then her eyes are gonna glow a little bit, but not anywhere near as intense. And she's gonna um, give you back a few hit points. Um, how much again. is it? Well, just hold on. Let me see how much I can give you. We're in anti handcuff, so. Uh, it's not a as spell. you it's try to like cast a spell, Providence. It's not a spell. Not a spell. Ability. It is it's a spell, it's a spell like, like ability. ability. Different. Yeah, it's I a mean, spell like I... ability. So uh, you get three. If, if it works, three hit points back. Uh, Providence, you take three hit points of damage. Ah. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. Don't try that. Yeah, no, I, I have certain abilities as well that seem to trigger the spikes. Ah. Shouldn't have tried to use the spell. I can try. And, don't, and, don't, I, don't, don't try. <laughs> I'm gonna, as, as you're trying to do this, these chains, like something grabs that you cannot see, grabs the chains and starts pulling you up the decks. Who, me or if I, all, all of y'all, because you're all, all the chains are now connected. I'm and still just trying to like slap Manny in the face just for the fun of it. <laughs> no, 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 such, it burns, it burns. It's, I'm so terribly sore. <laughs> it's like the worst son of another. Because if unarmed damage is strength or is one plus your strength modifier, that's a negative one, and maybe <laughs> it just goes to zero. <laughs> we can pretend. <laughs> heal, heal, heal. As 
this like it feels like something has latched hold of the chains and started pulling them up the decks and you're just if you don't decide to step you're gonna get dragged I'll walk how I will, rough I will... It, the initial trick is and you almost get off balance but subconsciously you kind of force your step to walk okay but if you don't continue going. to walk, oh. you'll start getting dragged. And then he's like shuffling and stumbling awkwardly. Providence will lean into it, like into the back, and try and like get it so she can just be like dragged across while standing. This is terribly like, undignified. And as you get to the top of the debts, you see the same individual there that came down with the bright red eyes, blue skin, white hair. To be undignified, not on the black. Happy. And as you're going up, everybody who says Kalis obviously can see this black ship, black sails. Um, you, Thane and Providence, you will remember this ship because it was the one that you got dragged the board. So I, I am almost dead. I don't know if you might happen to have some remedy for that. You'll be fine. It's just a flesh room. I, I see I'm you're getting quite... well acquainted with your new roommates. I'm, I'm more of an indoor type of person. I'm not accustomed to wounds and such. <sighs> I don't give a shit. <sighs> what happened to Captain Crimes? <sighs> Shh. As you see Manny's lips go. Uh, no saving throw? You automatically fail because of the chains. Uh, Just like, I forgot what movie it was where the lips just completely go away. Matrix. Yeah, it was Matrix. Exactly like that. The, ma the lips are gone. That's gross. It is gross. What what's gross? Uh, he he has no mouth anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really the worst thing. <laughs> I, I am picking up on that. But why did they blindfold you anyway? I don't know. <laughs> and he says it just like that, just like I don't know. <laughs> you want me to help get it off and I'll start reaching up towards it? No, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Bane, I think I think this is the lady, like the, the ones that we killed. Like her crew? Yeah. And as <laughs> the the chains drag you. Um uh, I sent uh, the map to three of you. If you mind sharing it into the Discord chat so everybody can kind of follow along, that'd be great. Uh, they bring you onto the docks and drag you. Kind of, there's these long rows of this place of cages. And there's two sets of cages. Or there's a set of there's one specifically big round cage like in the middle and as you're getting pulled up the fourth cage on your left side is the one you throw you in all they just throw all four of you in there and as you look at the big cage like the cage you get thrown into, there's no flooring, there's no bedding, there's nothing. Just bare ground and steel. Mm -hmm. And the big cage that you see in front of you is like... Looks completely different than the cage you're in. It has like uh, almost... Uh, what is it? Cots type deal with some uh, cloak or wool pillows well it's nicer as can be nice in a cage 
better living conditions basically is what you see than what you currently have what throws you in is a slit of uh dwarf like people with uh dark skin seeing more elves with the light the dark skin white hair kind of get shoved in there left to your own devices do we still have the chains on still have the chains on but they're no longer tied together like everybody else and eventually Manny you get your voice back as your lips reform <gasps> it was so hard to be I'm not a nose breather it's so terrible oh my god <laughs> I'm glad you're fine where are we in a cage do you think that because we killed a couple of their people that they might want to hire a couple people who are stronger than their current crew yeah, I think that's what we should do. We should probably offer our services. Well, well okay, you guys, just say you're with us. Uh, one of you looks strong, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just say, we'll just say that we, we can help them out. And then, then one, once we get a little bit of leeway, like a little bit of freedom, we'll just leave. Unless they pay really well. Unless they pay really well. We can't leave without my bag. It's absolutely essential to get that back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm actually kind of missing something as well. But um, so well, okay. So Same. the plan. The plan. We try to uh, convince them that we can be, you know, valuable to them, and then, and then once they uh, once they accept us, we'll just like do a couple things for them, whatever they want, then find your stuff, and then leave. I like and, that unless idea. unless they pay well. Perhaps I could add a letter, an extra layer. Um, I imagine that the captain is a very unpleasant taskmistress, and there must be dissent among the ring. If we can find a way to exploit that, intensify it, maybe convince some people to act, maybe we could stage a mutiny. And in the chaos, I could get my backpack, which is absolutely essential. Well, see, you might be right, but also the chick that hired us was not very pleasant until we were working on the ship, and then she was very, 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 very pleasant. Almost too pleasant, particularly mm. with one of us and not the other. Not to, not to like, throw a... I don't know, the euphemism here. Uh, there's a kink in this plan. Um... Mm. She said pretty specifically that somebody wants me dead. That is possible. It does seem very likely. They must have taken me by mistake. Maybe because I was with you. All right, get back to your cages, your slums. Uh, fool will be served to you. Great work in the mines, in the tunnels. I, I'm not very bit... good at manual labor. I'm... That's better at intellectual you labor. actually hear this from <laughs> down the down the row they're not actually talking to you you just kind of hear this and you start uh, seeing okay. people getting shoved in cages all down um, and then you see three individuals getting escorted to the bigger cage that you saw that's more better level habitable uh, you see them chained up just like you are currently uh, Sean Pierre, Glitch, and Arnest. Would you like to describe your characters to everybody else? So we start with Jean Pierre. Yep. Okay. So, uh, you see this. You see this relatively short Kenku, uh, around five foot two, uh, or uh, 157 centimeters in spice trade units. Uh, and I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's he's wearing he's wearing a uh, a white undershirt with his with his very big uh, this big blue uh, coat on on top of him. It's probably uh, smutted and torn up by now, but yeah. Yeah, a bit dirty, a uh, bit dirty, a bit torn. Haven't gotten that fixed yet. I'll do it later. It's fine. Uh, uh, you can see there's a couple little gray feathers. Uh, as for his age, looks an older fellow. Uh, and yeah, pretty much that's pretty much it. Looks constantly upset at the situation he is in right now, but par for the course. All right, Glitch. Glitch is a half elf. 
white hair that he keeps playing with. He keeps going like this all the time with it every time he moves. He's 187.96 centimeters, or six foot two. <laughs> I just looked up what I was, so. Yeah. Uh, currently, yeah, wearing darker clothing, just trousers and a shirt, and they're dirty. He keeps his other stuff hung up in our little cage. It's slightly cleaner. And I can see right now. Uh, you are going to see a high elf, brown hair twisted in a bun with a little tiara behind holding her hair up, uh, light green eyes, uh, used to be a beautiful green, uh, training gear, all torn and dirty. She's about five foot six, which is, I think, 167 centimeters. Yes. Um... She has like this flow of arrogance and elegance to her, and she's just a little irritated. Just having to work in the mines again, a thousandth time. You're escorted back to your cage, and you're put in. You look over and see the new four individuals that are new and brought in. Providence is standing at the edge of the cage, arms crossed, just staring at them. Caitlin's is doing the same thing. Manny My hair is billowing with the wind. <laughs> Manny clearly not. looks half dead. Ben's standing there with my little mouse in my hands and just... Is your mouse dead? I don't... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, what we have here? We got four new crew that a group. Uh, standing before you is this ball-headed gray dwarf. Uh, sorry, gray-bearded dwarf. He's got a scar over his left eye, and missing. Me too. He is missing an eye. Oh. He has one good eye left, and he's clearly he's an older, ripped dwarf. Ah, welcome to your new home. If you're Thank not you. fighting in the arena, you'll be in the tunnels. Arena, please. Arena. Whatever she's doing. It's not a choice. I said if you're not on the days of the arena, on the other days, like these few lot that just got back, they're in the tunnels. We don't have what? fights every day because we need to keep the, you know, a, a certain Svenzwa about it, you know? We got to build up the hype. We can't have battles every night. I can see you're a man of intelligence and sophistication. You know, I might not have the best assets physically, but I can help with things like accounting, advising. We he already a have counter. a few people for that. You're not no, brought actually... here for accounting, and this is my time to talk. Don't interrupt me. Oh. But he's really good. I, 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 I don't give a shit. No, he accounted for everything. <laughs> what, physical, what physical areas do you not perform well in? I'm confused now. Oh. Again, this is my time to talk. Right. And if you already noticed the chains around that you have, the cufflings, I think you probably already knew. They do bad stuff to you when you try to use any sort of magic, magical powers or spell-like abilities you may get from your races. Some of your races are weird and shit and get a little extra little shit. Yeah, yeah, don't even try. Uh, uh, I, no good to me dead in these cages, okay? Don't eat, don't. These, he gestures over to the 3D, put in the fancy. Now, now, if you yeah, do well. He like raises his hand, like, like. Yeah, he's like. And he continues on talking. <laughs> <laughs> and he continues on talking, like not acknowledging your hand raising at all. Now, if you do good in arena and you like earn enough coin for people to invest in your fighting skills, you might can get a nice cage like these three young lot over here because they've been here for a while. They have earned what they have there. If we do better, can we get a better cage than that? We'll see. You're not and, on Craven's okay. level, but you know, maybe. Okay, so Providence spins around, faces the three people in the cage. 
You plan. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and he gestures over to this gigantic massive minotaur that kind of walks up beside him. Oh, man. My my name is Thanor. Boomats. Doomats, I'm sorry. Doomats. I forgot my own Doom name. Doomats? Thanor. Doomats. Doomats. Oh. Okay, got it. I used to fight in the arena back in the day. I was pretty damn good. I have this ats that was we call it the Doom Ats, and that's where I got my nickname at, as you see. Makes sense. It's a good that's, an, that's an impressive nickname. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fan, I, I retired and took over this fancy business. I was, you know, given a proper title. This here is my compadre, Din, Dindora Stonehand. And as you can see, he has a... As you look over at this Minotaur, this Minotaur is stacked. He's ripped to the... But his left hand is... It's kind of like, as you can see, he's slowly cracking over the ages. His whole forearm is stone. I and kind of lean over and I'm like, you can hear crunching he, of rocks, everything, because he's like, he's kind a, of moving he's, it. His hand is actually made out of stone. It's, it's quite impressive. Yeah. You, you do look I like quite you assure that. you that it was not impressive when it happened to him, but. Yeah, it's his story to tell, not mine. Was it impressive for the person who did it? I don't know. They're dead now. No. Did he cry? It was of course a she. He didn't cry. She cried. No, I mean, did did he cry? cry? Uh, it was more of rage, and he took that stone hand after it was turning that and just bashed the poor face. It's, it's his story to tell, not mine. Why do you keep asking me questions? Um, I have one more question, please. Can my mouse have his chain removed? Because he's a mouse. Why is a mouse in a chain? I don't know. Is he no, still it's dead? It's silly. <laughs> is that a corpse? <laughs> no. Any service of me left? Yeah, Noah. Yeah. Nah, you can take that off. You did good work today. Go, go make sure Craven gets his four square mil. All right. Well, we have we we'll have Phil coming to you here shortly. Nice, get nice and comfortable. And uh, I do have a quick request. I mean, speaking of not being any good to you, Dad, I, I am. Do you see yourself in chains? On on the edge of death right now. I don't know if you noticed. Um, I'm covered in burns, and it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, that was my bad. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know what happened. <clears throat> But I did that well chained. Think about how yeah. great I'd be in the arena. She, the chains don't seem to work on her. No, uh, they do. Don't test quite that. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn. They're doing what they're supposed to do. But do you have a uh, question for you, uh, squirrely little one? Uh, keep asking questions. Do you see chains around your, cha your wrist and body? It's a yes or no question, dumbass. Which one yes. really one. <laughs> I'm assuming you. Okay. I'm talking to Manny. <laughs> yeah, talking I to me. Oh. You said squirrely. I thought he was talking to Fane because. But you're the one asking right. questions. Um. I yeah. I do have chains, right? Yeah. Everybody does. Uh, yes, of course. Do you really think this is the time to be asking questions? You're in a question asking position to be asking questions. So many questions. It was more of a humble request. I, you look like a generous. Okay, requesting man. questions, requesting. It doesn't matter. You think that you're in a position to ask a request right now? It was more than you're not a very bright, thing. are you? I have a question. Are you with the kittens? <laughs> what the fuck? And he just turns around and walks off. <laughs> right, can I try to? I'm gonna try to reach and like high five the bull man. <laughs> high five <laughs> or fist bump. Mm. Is Actually, the bull guy no, still there? He takes this, and you take. Yep. <laughs> Ten points of bludgeoning damage as your That's hand okay. pretty much breaks. Ow! It's okay. It's okay. Once I have, what, what, uh, I, I can fix that, uh, eventually. Fine. I can fine. also fix that. Bane is Bane? trying to look tougher than Manny. Are we? Hey, so we're. Like, he turns around. 
up on top of the deck now? No, you're on shore. I had, uh, did y'all show oh. the f uh, photo of the map? Yes, yeah. I did. It's on the... There, um, in the yep. Discord, you have the photo yeah. of the map. Um, oh. So, hey. so we're in Slaver's Row? You're correct. Uh, yes. So the okay. fourth cage to the left as you're walking down Slaver's Road is what you're in. The big round cage that's right next to it is the other three individuals that you met. So we cut over to uh, uh, Sean, Glitch, and Kalis. Uh, no, not Kalis. Uh, Sean, Glitch, and Ariness. Uh, Ariness. I'm going to mess it up for like, <laughs> Just call me Ara. Ara. Do Ara. What, what do you do? <laughs> what are you saying as you witness all this happening? I'm looking at the picture like, are we sure this is... Oh, do I swear, if these are the new people. I think they are. God. We're gonna fail again. I mean, as long as we don't die. That's... Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, huh. Mm -mm. Yeah. Fail what? They don't know yet. That's... <sighs> Two yeah. years in this shit. I swear. Glitch, anything to say? Don't really no. need to tell them much. They're probably gonna die this true, week, so... True. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty true. It, it, if there's well, fighting yeah. involved, that's, that's, that's more than likely in my case. Uh, uh, not, no, oh, no, he's on that first. <laughs> Are they threatening I, us? I, no. I, just, I, just, uh, if are you possibly the, ah. the pirate captain that Captain Kranza was talking about? Do I look like the captain? I was talking to the the, Jean, the, the, the guy next to you with the feathers. Yes. There's a guy I, with feathers? I was a, I was a captain, <laughs> yes. Yeah, he seemed quite incensed. You must have ruffled some feathers, so to speak. Yeah, because we've got feathers. Yeah. Not the first time I've heard that yep, one. They're dead. It's like <laughs> yeah, a good. Yeah, it's it's like a good five seconds before Kalos goes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what? I wonder <laughs> if you could be a captain once again. Two years seems like a long time. There must be a way to get maybe. Instead of upward mobility between this uh, breakout and trust me, we I at least have been looking. Not many <laughs> routes out. Let us put it simple this way. There there's shift change overlaps, and then there's ton flame and skulls that constantly keep an eye out. There's no escape. We've flame, tried. Did you flame, just say flaming flames. skulls? Yes. Flaming skulls. Whoa. As much as I hate to say it, they do look pretty cool, but... Can, can you harm them? Well, maybe not you, you're a bird. Can, can I harm them? <laughs> sort of... It's not a good idea. <laughs> Gonna be honest on that one. What if you harm them a lot? Yep, yeah, go for it. Okay. So... Just go ahead, just... I'm gonna try to glitch him, Jean, and go, John. So the, the turban dude's gonna die first. Then I have a funny yep. feeling the guy with the blindfold. The orc might have some more. I think they are threatening yeah. us. I think our best chance is with the the one with the beautiful hair. <laughs> Sad to say. I have to agree with you on that one. Kayla's kind of like turns around. Which one of you has beautiful hair? Oh, it's me. Oh, it's... <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh. Hair is pretty, pretty as well. Actually, actually, to be perfectly honest, Fane is actually quite attractive. Her character art is kind of deceiving. She still has tusks that come protrude out of the mouth, but they're sexy tusks. Yeah, they are. Tusk love. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not canon. No, it can't be canon. 
Not some copyright stuff I don't want to step all over. I think we're going to have to think our way out of this faster than that. Faster than not. I don't know if I will survive very long in the arena, Cabus. Okay, I... okay. I, ha, new plan. Let's let's work with those guys that are threatening us because I can still take them if, if anything threat. happens. I'm How not threatening they? you. No, they're trying to recruit you. She only comes with me. Yeah. We're, we're, we're a thing. We're not trying no, not to... Not a thing, but like a what? thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> We're not trying to be threatening or anything. We're, we just it's like just... to make bets. Yeah. Mm. Okay. We don't fight uh, against each other. We fight with each other. That's mm-hmm. or that's what's probably gonna happen. But fighting with someone could also mean fight against them. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> a seven. If you uh, another like included. five seconds. And... <laughs> 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 Uh, you three actually know there's different types of fights. There's the the ones you've been primarily tasked with is what the fights you have. Then you know there's like one-on-one fights with the more powerful gladiators, which you know um, I sent you in a message who the cap- champion of that uh, tier is. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Probably that Craven guy. Mm. Or, mm. Kid. And you well, they, they sometimes have, sometimes not even you guys there, they have, just have like wild beasts fighting each other. Like, What type of day is it? Uh, type of day? Time, time. of day. <laughs> even, even if you could see, it's kind of hard to tell because you're underground. This is an underground city that you're in. Oh, I didn't know that. What does the sky look like right now, Manny? Um, can we see this guy from our nope. jail cell? You're underground. You're in an underground when we, city. When we were taken, like, from the Oh, boat, it was, like, evening getting to night. It was evening a few moments ago when we were taken. Uh, it must be night now. What do you mean, must be? We're in some sort of underground city of some sort. Can you not see? No, he's, he's, he's... was born without the ability to see Oh, he's blind. That's why. Oh. Okay, we're gonna oh, have to change the down. ranking on that. We're gonna have to change the ranking on that one. So... <laughs> yeah. Listen, li- li- listen oh, to yeah. me. I, I realize you all are seasoned fighters, and, and maybe Kalos and I, uh, we will struggle. But if you can help us figure out the lay of the land, our only hope is to escape. We will never be able to fight our way to the top of this arena. Uh, any details you can offer us? I will say, you seem to be more magically inclined. Correct? A, a, a bit, yes. Okay. They they do let us use a bit of magic on the field, or up mm-hmm. in the my, arenas. My magic is more uh, reading palms, uh, telling you a bit about your sign. Uh, oh, I can okay. sense your aura. <laughs> Okay, we might Maybe have to keep the ranking the same then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Does my a... ranking get better or worse with all these changes? <laughs> better ish. Yeah. <laughs> He's first now. What okay. happened? Uh, do you know what is the relationship between Captain Kranza and. Uh, and uh, the other captain, whose name I just wrote down five seconds ago, but does not seem to be in the Dumax? Dumax, yes. Yeah. The mean lady. Uh, and then the, the other guy. The guy that, that seems to hate you. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your name? Uh, oh, uh, I'm John Pierre. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Manny. This is Kate. As you can introduce yourself, Kate, obviously. Is there any tensions we can exploit between the two of them? I am... I forgot. Is there, is there anything we know of? I don't believe so. They talk. They don't talk out in the open too much. It's either one or the other. They're not making out in front of us or anything. Yeah. yeah. So they're an idol. No idea. But- or well, they could be. We kept in a cage. We're kept in a mine. 
You know, what are we never mining? take bracelets off. What are we mining? Oh, you know, rocks and stones, other minerals. <clears throat> uh, you, you three know it's not so much as a mine, just tunnels to create a bigger, more expansion of the city oh. underground. And you do know there's a, another tunnel that leads up to surface to a city but you're not quite sure yeah. which city because you've never been allowed to go that way mm. Mm. Are, are we being watched right now always yep yeah, did you see them Thanks. 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 around I know I was being stupid. As you're looking around, you see <laughs> hovering above you approximately about 10 flaming skulls just kind of going in a circle. As you're waving Providence, one looks at you <laughs> and starts to keep on flying. That, that's mighty creepy. That was horrifying. Yeah. Want to try? Yep. Get used to it. Yeah. Ah! That one keeps on flying. <laughs> is this? <clears throat> well, that was new. Is this magic of a infernal nature? Or... What is it that fuels this place? Can I use my divine sense? Sounds like a spell-like ability to me. It might be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can detect good and evil. I know the location of any <laughs> celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. You take 12 points of piercing damage as the chains go into your wrist because I rolled fast <laughs> damage. Oh, I am uh, not doing that again. Yeah, as you take these 12 points of piercing damage, you're able to see for a second Okay, this you're able to see for a second as you're able to take this damage the ten skulls are flying above you and it's very heat of aura around them and then over in a cage you see a very tall figure was probably talking that you can probably can I don't know what you're hearing who you've been one of the individuals you've probably been talking to, a big towering figure, as it all fades away, as you take this pain, you can't keep it up. <sighs> yeah, there okay. are 10 of them. Mm. Ten, 10 what? Look up. He's. Okay, no. He's blind, yes. right? I'm blind. Remember? Yeah. No. Yeah, no. I'm just reminding her. No, Manny's the one who said it. Uh, speaking of which, I'm Arwenus. Nice to meet you. That to meet you here. Yes. Okay, I guess. Fine. I guess I'll. I'm, I'm Providence. This is this is Fane, and then Providence will immediately step in front of Fane just to stand in front. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not like in a rude way, like in a protecting way. Yeah. Kadis, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, not doing so hot, but. Me either. I'm on my last one at the moment. Hey, do they do they give us healing? Like you said, we we fight, right? And then, Providence, as he like kind of recoils from that and he looks directly at you that explains that that's what what happened earlier that's just because crew is amazing what, 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 sure did, happen? Is. what, what did happen what did happen the the damage that we took earlier, the hurt. Oh, that just that just happens from time. Like, I'm I'm really sorry about that. Huh. What well, what did you learn? Well, 
She'll tell us in time. And uh, then he just kind of like yeah, bows so, his head uh, to you. May the stars light your path. Thanks. <laughs> So don't use magic. You might survive. Yeah, learn, learn learn that a couple of times. But no, seriously, like um, did, like if we're gonna fight, we're we're gonna have to be healed, right? Like they'll heal us. Yeah. So how I many? Yeah, they usually just sleep it off. You know. Yeah. Normally. Probably fine. In the arena, we'll we can heal you for those of us who do have those abilities, but. Yeah, it's only in the arena. Do they return our objects to us at any point in time? You're funny. I just, no. I just had like a really important. It was given, uh, like a necklace. It was given by a friend. Same. Gone. Probably. Yeah. They, <clears throat> I feel like they keep them somewhere, but like. We yeah, haven't seen them. Yeah. We have to find out where where that stuff is kept, Kibbas. Absolutely have to. My mother's amulet back. Not just that. Mm. Oh, and your bag that you keep talking about. It's not exactly my bag. Whose bag is it, Manny? Um, Before we left, yeah, Manny grabbed her by the shoulders and said, Manny, please, take these most important star scrolls with you. I think he put maybe two or three in, uh, and ushered me out the door when I was um, escaping the temple. Um, they, they could be the only scrolls that are left. They probably are the only scrolls that are left. Manny, we have to retrieve those. Absolutely, absolutely. The two or three, I think. It, I'm not quite sure how many you put in. Are they called star scrolls because they're in the shape of a star? Because they're... Maps of the night sky. The oh. positions of the stars. Fane, give me a constitution saving throw. That's weird. Oh, I'm so good at these. Oh, well, that's an 18. I'm so good at these. As you're holding your hand, your your wrist kind of goes like this, and you kind yeah. of, at some point, you kind of, you're still kind of holding, realizing that your hand is fucking broke because yep. of this minotaur that smashed your hand. We He's not very good at high fives. That doesn't look good. Okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Don't worry. Um... Is there where like there's nothing on the ground, right? Like it's just wood. It is sand and the steel cage. So the steel cage is under you, and it's just sitting on sand, pretty much. Mm. I would suggest we dig our way out, but I don't really see how we would get out of our chains, even if we did escape. No, the, the, the cage has a grate under it, too. Like, it's a full round cage. Probably yeah. so we can't dig, dig our way out. out. Yeah, obviously. Hey, maybe, if, maybe if we tipped it over and then, like, tried to kick the bottom out. Okay. <laughs> this will be how, interesting. <laughs> how wide is the cage? Uh, So, it's a little bit more narrow. It is 10 by two, uh, probably about, I'm sorry, it's a little bit bigger, so it's 20 by 40 feet. And we're not like manacled down. We just have manacles on you, yes. On us. So you're able to walk <clears throat> around the cages, but you're not manacled. It's not like you before on the boat where you're chained okay. to the cage. Chained to the floor. Um, do we want to tip it over? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I have good plans. Sometimes I don't. Uh, I feel like that I might not be the best try. one. If I had the right equipment available to me, I might be able to uh, finish the vault. Can, can I try to start climbing the <laughs> wall on the one side? Can I, I start a dexterity saving to... throw with disadvantage? 
is you Can have a broken hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> I will be standing underneath the cat. Um, I'll need that because I rolled a 14 and then I rolled a 1. Plus 2 for 3. So uh, acrobatics for catching? Uh, give me a dexterity saving throw of Providence for catching. Nope. I go <laughs> and a, the bone just one. Like, out of my hand <laughs> and I go, woo, and forget to grab and fall. I'm going to roll. I will say you soak up. You would have soaked up like half the damage. So you each take six points of bludgeoning damage. And as Fane as falls down and you're you're like you're like watching her like that trying to figure out what she's doing and then when she way her hand is broken she falls and you were not prepared for her to fall that direction so you try to die for her and you just miss her as she's coming down mm -hmm. like the most of it and you both like you she falls but she falls like on your face mm -hmm. i'm 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 out i'm unconscious the high five and, and that Fane head banes off the steel on the ground and she is oh, unconscious. Oh wait, actually I'm not. I fall to one point because because I have a thing for that. Is it a spell like Sorry. ability? It is it a not, racial ability. It's a racial the ability. Orcish. It's, it's just pure physical. It's it's just I'm I'm stubborn enough to not go unconscious. <laughs> All right, I'll say this: uh, as you as the blackness almost fades across your eyes. Mm -hmm. You spit up some blood and you're back up, oh. or, or like kept kept your consciousness oh, as your hand is now completely oh. laying behind your wrist. Or yeah. What okay, is so going on over there? Don't climb the thing; it hurts <laughs> if your hand is broken. Also, thank you, Prue. Okay, cat, we're gonna we're gonna put you down over here. So, if, so she actually picks up Fane and walks over to the back corner of the of the cage and just puts her down. I allow just, it. just, just stay there. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Kalis, do you want to feel what my bone feels like? Cause it's sticking out, and I know you can't see it, but maybe you, you want to touch it. I do, <laughs> but won't that hurt you? Um, if you're Bane, careful, hopefully not. Bane, just, just stay there for a second. Yeah. Uh, guys, um, do you, do either of you like? We can't use spells. Do either of you like have like any med medical like training? Without magic, I, I have, nope. But I, I, have, I have a tiny bit. But I have a tiny bit. What I was taught in the temple. Oh, you went to a temple. Cool. Hey. Cool. Small world. Um. Oh, I don't know. I could. I, I could. I could try. Many. Many. Are he you? Kind of like leans down and just rips off part of his pant leg. Like, gotta set it. Yeah. If if you can help her. I... First. Gently. Don't poke it. I'm not gonna um, poke it, but yeah, I will. I, I feel a little bit faint. I don't like the sight of blood. Oh, this looks horrible. <laughs> look, look, I'll walk Kayla's over. Eye. Are there sticks? Anything? You have the chains. And Do you won't be able to like... see anyway because. Well, I made like I would dig around in the sand. <laughs> Do you, I have any like? Because I, I was probably wearing like leather, not like armor, but leather. Do I have anything that's like like a really firm piece so I could just tear off? Sure. I'll yeah, allow you yeah. to do maybe, this. Yeah, maybe use this. It's just a from the from my back piece. Okay. And then so I like feel around on her hand. Uh, um, uh, is Providence helping you? I would be I would helping. So. Um just let me do one thing. Give me a medicine check with a straight roll. Yeah, I was gonna say Fane wouldn't allow if crew wasn't helping. <laughs> He can poke it, but he's not like poking around at it. Eighteen. Eighteen. With uh Providence help, uh move like as soon as your hand goes to the part that's not gonna do anything, she moves your hand to the where it needs to be. And you're able to stabilize the hand. Thank you. Oh that Look. cracking sound. Oh yeah. There's a lot of cracking. Try maybe not climbing the walls or I don't and know then what you did to break your hand but well, oh I high five the big bull guy with the stone hand he's he's a little too hard on, on high five maybe the next time we see a big bull guy with a stone hand we don't high five him is that a common thing 
I don't think so. It's my first. Next time we see one of them, you're not including you, right? It's a general we. Okay. Like the royal eye. Is it what? Never mind. I don't. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of poke at my hand, but like not so that it hurts. Just the. I kind of just like push your fingers. Don't do that. You can't see me. Yeah, you didn't see her doing that. <laughs> if she's within ten feet of me, I see her. Yeah. I don't see like shape and definition, but I have blind sight. Uh, you get it? I thought you got it at level four. Nope. Level two. Oh, level two. Okay. Yeah, you're within 10 feet, you can see her. I thought that was level four. Okay. No. Bro, I don't think he's blind. I, maybe maybe he's just like, like, have you heard those stories about those people that like, they I lose like I can hear their... you moving your hand. I'm just gonna yeah, he's just... put my hand up towards your face. Do that really obnoxious, offensive thing. I'm very sorry. <laughs> don't. Nothing. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but thank you. Above table, I would never do that. Just saying. <laughs> uh, Sean, Glitch, and Arnis, what what are y'all seeing? What are y'all saying anything or doing anything? Seeing all this happen? I'm questioning reality Everything. and like what the actual yes. fuck yeah. is going I'm, on. Uh, yeah, Glitch is brushing his teeth, watching all this entertainment. <laughs> Uh, you have a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hey, if we'll back our little wash basin. Oh, we're getting another rave from Rusty Tonics with a twenty-two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rusty Tonics. So many people. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, you already got it. Uh, let's can finish that thought. Gene, Glitch, and Arnis. Uh. You said you're questioning reality. There's like, what, what the heck are they doing? You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Everybody basically, yeah. In, Just watching. Uh, from Rusty's raid, this is where their location at. They're at Slaver's Row, currently in cages. I'm, I'm unsure if they're, oh, and I'm not, you you see this right? You're seeing what's going on. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't get. They're... Like how do they all can't figure yeah. out this place yet? I think they're actually Not strong stuff, or they're insane. Maybe a bit of both. Maybe a bit of both. A bit of both. Okay. Yeah. I'm still worried about Maybe. the Manny dude. <laughs> Seems. Yeah. Does stuff. Yeah. Got a broken hand. You already tried to do stuff. And now you're. No. You're all beat up already. They look pretty hurt too. Like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hope that won't hinder us. We'll is that a, is that toothbrush? and fodder? Yeah, we all got one. Wait, uh, everyone gets a toothbrush or just you? We got toothbrushes. We do. Wait, can we borrow yours? You don't have no, to that's extra. gross. What? No, no. It's mine. You can't have it. Do you even have teeth? I have a mouth. <laughs> uh, perhaps the toothbrush is a status symbol of some sort. <laughs> hey, here's how it works. Oh, go ahead. You make people money. You fight in the ring, you live, you make people money. Then they give you stuff. This was my birthday gift. Uh, Happy belated birthday. Well, that is impressive. Or early birthday? I wonder if you might have higher ambitions, possibly. It's been I... two years. There's not much you can get very far. 
Mm. Were you guys chosen specifically to be here? Our manacles have symbols on them that seem to indicate that they wanted us for some specific reason. There's symbols on them? Uh, symbols? What? Yeah, you would have definitely seen for the two years okay. we looked at them that uh, Arnis, you yeah. had a symbol um, of a bow. Okay. Um, Sean, uh, you just had a, a pirate flag symbol on yours. And Glitch, you had like a hammer and a wrench type deal on yours. With that being said, let's go ahead and cut to our break. We went a little far past, but, you know, I don't want to interrupt the stuff. But uh, we'll be back, guys. Uh, stick with us. And uh, we'll be back after the break to continue the party getting to know each other in our first episode of the relaunch of Order of Goblet. Thank you guys for the raids, love, and support. And we'll be back, guys. Back in break. Mm. God, I gotta, I gotta go. And welcome back. Uh, Sean is there. He's just not on cam. So, um, welcome back. Uh, people all just got here. So this is the first episode. The characters start this campaign um, in cages. Uh, gave them an option how they want to start, either in cages or a traditional way. But they wanted to start in cages. So we had uh dark sessions on how they got in cages and i'm not going to spoil any of that that's for them to talk and kind of reveal but they had each had different instances of how they got locked up and how they got chained they just got taken to this location um they don't quite know the other three would do no um what is the name of the place? Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, Gray, uh, Gray Chester Port is the name of the place. And that is where they're at. Uh, three characters probably know is Gray Chester Port. It's an under dark, or underground uh, city. Basically, I won't spoil too much more of it. But uh, but so basically right now, the characters know it's an underground city. The other three kind of know, kind of got the vibe of the place. But... That's about it. That being said, we'll come back in. I hope that explained enough for you, uh, Sits. And thank you for the follow. And uh, thank you for your D4 contribution to my terrorizing the players. To the DM. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I, I got it. Because he doesn't have enough advantages already. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> If we wanted to go through the divorce over, seat, we could so. go through. <laughs> I mean, Vane already has a D6. Glitch already has a D6. Providence has... Two advantages. Uh, advantage uh, and Two D6s and an advantage. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys have advantages, too. Wow. Arnus has a D6. Cleus has a D6. Gene has a D6. Manny has a D6. I have a D4. Didn't the person who... who um, subbed... When we were like ten minutes in, I thought they gave advantage to proof. Yeah, they get advantage yeah. to proof. So then she has two. She has one. Have one. you used one? Because I gave her no. one. Yeah, she oh. has two. Oh, she has two. Okay, I didn't put that in. Hold on. No. Two advantages. Anyway. I thought there was two d sixes. Sorry. No, it's one one d one d six. Okay. But that I All hope right, that catches yeah. you up, sits. Uh, but yeah, you haven't really missed much. They. They made Thanks. a few uh, NPCs uh, that has them captured, or they learned a little bit of stuff, but not too much right now. They're still kind of filling each other out and all that. So, <laughs> that being said, we'll bring it back in. Uh, as everybody uh -huh. sees that Glitch has brought out this toothbrush, you can definitely see that it's man made. has like it's not like something professionally bought it's more like like you probably gather something he probably made himself it's more like a wire brush not like a straight toothbrush but. 
That is a, quite an impressive piece of craftsmanship there, Village. And eventually the uh, the guards uh, come up and dish out your foods. Um, probably uh, everybody gets like besides Sean, Glitch, and RNS. Y'all get what like this couple day old like soup. It's almost like kind of like a it's all different kinds of vegetables in it, but it's like just old. It's like it's a few days old. It's not been well kept. Yeah, it doesn't taste that well. What they bring, uh, Jean Pierre, Glitch, and Arminus is like this, like hefty piece of meat, some potatoes, and then you get one ale. <clears throat> They got booze. Yeah, you shouldn't have any, but yeah. What? <laughs> and y'all get water. I will. Ooh, I have okay. to drink that water. I'm going to imagine really hard <laughs> as I drink it. <laughs> <clears throat> Is water supposed to be this color? <laughs> it's better than nothing. It's uh, a little dirty. It's crystal clear, don't worry. Honestly, run it through a piece of cloth first. Bane's already down. <laughs> I was like, um, Kalis is already drinking. <laughs> Manny is like very like carefully following Glitch's instructions and like folding some cloth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you might want to filter that. Uh, Fane and Kalis, you, you get the hint of salt in yours. But not overbearingly where it's bad. Oh. Yeah, fine. So, do you have any idea? They they hinted that somebody paid to have us taken. Were you in the same situation as well two years ago? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Did you find out what they wanted you for? Nope. I, I'm assuming just fighting in the arena, other stuff. They somehow they got know? my old rival into this dag business. Who's, who who would that be? <sighs> old captain. I uh, might have heard him. I uh, was by the name Captain Crimson. Uh, it's. Long, long story. It's we. I I despise him, but he found me, captured us. Now we're here. Hmm. Is that is there is that Captain Crimson Crimson any relation to ones that we were with? Well, the uh, depending. Did you see a white haired? Yes. She was the one who captured us too, with the six-headed dragon. You had a six-headed dragon. Many hey. colors. Not us, them. I mean, you also captured the dragon. I'm sorry, you said six-headed dragon. Mm-hmm. And it attacked you. Yeah. It looked... It just... I was too focused on the woman on the back before the six heads, because it just... It... it was huge, okay? Hey, Fane, I... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Is it the same one? It must be. It sounds like it. What, was, what, there, huh? was there a woman on it? Uh, I don't think there was a woman on ours, right, Judy? No. Ours was alone, but she came, whoever it was. There was a, were the people that took us later at the end, they were both men or was one a woman? One was a woman. Uh, no, but she showed up later at the end. 
So it was her. Did she have white hair? Did it sound the same description? Yeah. Yes, I... What, what I, I Arnis think... is probably just... You want to describe her, Arnis? Oh, you said it was white think... hair. Yeah, white hair. Well, I can only see from a distance. She was on the dragon. White hair, uh, like light blue skinish. No, she didn't have light it... blue skin. No, she didn't have skin. She... What did she have? I forgot. She didn't have she skin didn't at have all. Skin? <laughs> no, she... <laughs> so, the one that I showed is completely a brand new character. Different. Different for yeah. the hen knight. Um... No, the one you uh, saw had pale skin. Pale skin, that's right. Black Sorry. eyes. Yep, that's right. Pale mm. skin, black eyes. Yeah. Yes, that's... Thane? Yes. Sounds like her. I, I think we've misjudged all of these these guys. Um, all we thought was pirates. We all... Well, hold on. We also fought a weird dagger. Okay, Shh, don't don't mention that. Okay. You know, um, it seems a bit extreme to destroy an entire temple just to capture one person. I can't imagine that's a lucrative way to run a trade, slave trade business. There must be something more here than just betting off of fights. If they're going to send an entire six-headed dragon to destroy a temple and capture a person hmm. it was more probably a revenge thing for the captain and you too say was... our name was on our list though all of us yeah mm -hmm. which makes no sense which, yeah and the two of you are, are, are sailors no mm -mm. I am I mean what just jump doing? here <laughs> On his boat. I really wasn't. Passenger. I tricked him into thinking I was. Mm. It's passenger. <laughs> and, that was and the you, first mate. You were the first mate. He was. Yeah, was he was. Doing. <laughs> I was doing. Fight title. I didn't need you there. You were. <laughs> I, I imagine you're an excellent first mate and a fantastic captain. I, I hope to see you on a boat once again soon. I'm, have to... I'm, I hope. I hope I'm got. I hope I'm the one steering it. If you need boat security, Prue and I both have experience with that. Oh, I mean, to be fair, that experience led you here. Well, by the same people who brought all of you here. So it's like even playing field. Yeah, and we killed at least three of them, maybe like four. Seven, seven of them. Nine. Seven. Of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So they're also murderers. No, no, they were attacking us. Yeah, they attacked us first. We were just doing our job. Oh, well, that's good for you. <clears throat> I wanna, so you're not a sailor and you're not a passenger. I said I was a passenger. Uh, on the ship? Yes. Mm. Stowaway. They j just took the, the two of you. Stowaway. I'm gonna look at Glitch like, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's a really, it's a really interesting story. God, it's been two years. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Like it was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Says the one who passed out within the first hit. I, I can relate to that. Ah. <laughs> Commiserate. <laughs> Uh, so why, why do you think that you were taken? Do you know the person that wanted you? No. No idea. They've never answered. Have you asked? We ask. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. They just laughed. And All laughed more. I wonder if they have an inquest or something against you. Once we're in the arena, I may be able to reach out and touch one of their minds. Good luck with that. There is a dome over the arena. So we can't go out of where we fight so everyone watching is protected i've seen someone try they died it was kind of funny but or that jam dome, that dome would to let them protect them from telepathy that's it from all magic what about the guards are there any guards positioned inside the dome 
Nope. Just us. Mm -hmm. Just us and whatever us. we're fighting. No opportunity to reach into their minds at all. Well, I don't Hold know. Up. I can't do that. Unless you're some Sorry, sort of poet. But... <laughs> Arnus has sent you a message. On Zoom. Mm. Well, in my case, I was obviously taken by mistake. Uh, the others, I, 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 I can't speak for. Mm. I wouldn't keep saying that. Because if they think they made a mistake, you're... You're dead. Dead. Mm. Dead, dead, dead. Sorry, I dragged you into this, Manny. It's okay, Gaius. I did plenty of dragging myself. I'm happy here to be with you. Hate for you to be alone in a situation like this. We'll get out of this. Of course we will. Staria will guide us out. That I'm sure she will have plenty to offer. That shouldn't prevent us from taking initiative, however. There's got to be a way for us to stage a mutiny. Good luck with that. Great. <laughs> if you get everybody's shackles off. Have you tried to get your shackles off? Do you know how oh, they yeah. work? No. What what have you done to try to get them off? And what haven't you done? What haven't we done in the last two years? We've tried just about everything. Smacking, magic. I tried putting picking it between it. bars. Yep. Just Yeah. I mean I, I haven't holding each other's while pulling really hard. Yes. Have you tried breaking your own wrist to slip out? I can do that. Ow! Don't, no, don't try no, 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 no. it. I convinced someone <laughs> to do it. They, they didn't have a good time. Oh. I guess I would only get one off. Even then, it's... Mm. As you're having this discussion, one of the, <laughs> one of the famous goals above you. <laughs> you didn't have a good time! <laughs> and he just kind of fuckers off. I do not like that. You kind of get used to it. I yes. think they're friendly. I can assure you they are not friendly. Well, not if you go into it with that attitude. <laughs> no, they're not friendly. I, I think they're right. They're probably not friendly. Probably. We have not met. <laughs> Quickly friendly, we're gonna kill what? you right now. It keeps on flying. Uh huh. Don't worry, you're. How are you gonna make your freaking money? Yeah, we're too worried. I need a skull. Why do I need money? What so what does this like sentient? skull want in life, or death, or whatever it is you call what you are? Yeah, don't worry about them. They just yep. Yeah. I imagine it must yep, be terrible. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god. Shut up, Gary. <laughs> Nine around there, buddy boy. I imagine it must be terribly boring to be stuck in the same place day after day, after day as a flying skull. I... Have you ever That's wanted to see the <laughs> Have you ever been curious what's outside this cage? I've oh, seen lots of stuff. No, I'm asking yeah. the skulls. Oh. They're not in the not cage. Us. They're flying up over the yeah. Killing? Well, I mean, have, you, have you ever wanted to you know, wander, you know, go someplace else? It seems like, do you, do you get to take breaks? They look at, they kind of, they're floating there and they kind of look at each other like, Is he serious? He's really trying to talk to us. Fucking moron and they just keep on going. Do, do they have names? Have, have you introduced yourself to them yet? We call them no. whatever, they're just... Mm. Okay. Wait, no. 
us. But I think over care. two years, you probably uh, develop nicknames for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But they have never given you a That true... one's lefty, that one's righty. Yeah. <laughs> Not Gary. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they all got names. Got Scaldy. Look carefully, you can kind of tell them apart. Some has some <laughs> pranks and stuff in certain places. I kind of don't want to be here long enough that I can name an identical looking skull. Do you think we wanted to? Oh, you there's some there's the missing, head. like, a teeth here, a tooth there. It's like, it's not a fully attached skull uh, as you're looking at them. Some, some have some nose, the bone of the nose completely ripped off, or, or some still have, some of it still attached. It's not completely identical skulls. Learn the differences eventually. Not a lot to do here. So, what, what do you do here? Like, like not when you're not fighting and dig tunnels. And when you're not digging tunnels. Nothing. We're in here. Yep. So you're so... either in the cage, mm -hmm. in the tunnels, mm -hmm. or in the arena. Yep. Got that down. I mean, occasionally new people come by, and I try and get them to free themselves from their shackles. That's where I mean, that's where we got a lot of the information from. It, but you know, he's very persuasive. Mm -hmm. Well, when's the, when's the next fight? Uh, I think it's ours. Should be um, next Monday. <laughs> what's a okay. monday i want to i want to say oh, I mean, like, what's so it for you guys for you guys been down here being under in this underground city like pretty much the concept of time is you like you you know how long you've been down here but the concept of like days and weeks all kind of just blend in together eventually yeah it feels like a bird day i don't know i don't know why <laughs> I'm it's more of a dog day. Yeah. Wait, so, Prue, oh, are we gonna go in and the, like the kitten from the nursery rhyme? Uh, maybe. Yeah. You do I mean, we should. Is there just just is there anything around here we could use as a weapon? Don't say a dagger. I was. You told me not to. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. So, okay, so when we fight, do they give us weapons? Yeah. Not the yeah. best, but there's something. We get better yeah, because, ones, but like... Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. You can pick your weapons, actually. Armor. Yeah. They take it all Armor. away. They do take you it all away. You don't have proud of some saving throws. Yay! Oh, how do I have three natural ones in one session? Damn! <laughs> That's oh, my God. thing. Eight total. Eight total? The, the yeah, total uh, so uh, Glitch is still kind of like, he. they're over there eating their food. I imagine y'all eating your food and having these discussions oh, yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, in Glitch's hand, he's like, all of a sudden you look over, Glitch is like using his utensils to eat, and he has a knot, that dagger that you've seen so many times before, cutting. <clears throat> Persimmon. Per persimmon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh god. Um. Don't look at it. Glitch. Okay. You're just using your normal utensils. You don't have. Yeah. Oh, okay. We could try and get it. I don't think my arm will reach that far because the bars will stop me at my armpit. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see glitch take the dagger and start running towards Arunus. No, 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 no. Uh, per Persimmon Elf. <clears throat> Duck. Huh? Run. Run away. The Elf girl, yeah. run. He stabs Elf Arunus girl. in the neck and slices the throat. Arunus just drops to the ground. He turns around and 
stabs John Pierre in the neck. Ah! And it drops down to the ground. Uh, and he turns what? around to you as he's getting ready to take the dagger to his throat. The vision fades. Oh. <laughs> hey, Liz, I, I think your friends might be new friends might be having some problems. What's going on? I, I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Uh, at this point, uh, Providence's eyes would probably start glowing again. Fane's okay. gonna oh, know that I'm on the <laughs> and move a couple steps away. <laughs> Give me wisdom no, saving throw, Providence. You're gonna pull Kalis away as fast I'm running as out of hit points, Jugan. <laughs> and he's dragging Kalis away. <laughs> that's, a, that's an eight. Wow. Uh, what's the range of it of it for you? It's, I think it's 30 feet. 30 feet. Oh. <laughs> Can you double check that? <laughs> I'm checking. Uh, everybody uh, in the cage takes five points of radiant damage. Oh. I think we're close enough to the second cage as well. <laughs> if you want to be that close to it. Uh, ten foot radius. Ten foot radius. Ten foot. No, okay. wait, 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 wait. Let me pull up. Yeah, ten foot. Okay. There's no way that Manny and Kalos could have got. Okay. Uh, time. so. It's also only two damage. <clears throat> Unless you want to change it. No, no, this is not, this is what we discussed. Okay. <laughs> um, this is what we discussed as a part of you having to learn how to control it. Sure. Yeah. So everybody takes five points of radiant damage if you're within 10 feet of her. So I was walking away to try to get that distance. Would you allow me to or no? It depends on where Providence was standing. I would have been closer to the cage, to the front of the cage, and I had put Fane at the back of the cage. Okay. And then Manny and I moved away. <sighs> okay. Uh, and you're close, like to the. Oh yeah, you would went all the way there. Uh yeah. Uh Jean Pierre, glitch, and Arnis, you take five points of radiant damage. Ow. Hey. See, she, yeah, you, you see her eyes just like start to glow and then even her cheeks start to look like they're getting radiant and then the little freckles on her face start to glow golden golden light and it just bursts out and then you're just like blinded for a second and suddenly hurt. She's doing it again, isn't she? That's magic. She's so How cool. is she? And she's amazing. And uh... Yes, she's doing it again. Providence, too. you take... Uh, eight points of piercing damage from the shackles as a right in her wrist, your wrist, as blood starts trickling down your wrist. She starts screaming. Um, do you, do you need do you need someone to come over, or should I wait here? Stay away. Are you sure? Yeah. Sorry happens. A little wisdom saving throw, Providence. Regardless of how she's doing it, uh, it, I don't think she can do it for too long. Ten. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that one back. As you start to flare up again, the whatever everybody else kind of sees this the chains rechart or retract and her arms are now latched to her side and whatever energy is coming from her is suppressed within the chains and now the chains are completely glowing as it absorbs this energy that is coming from her i'll run up at that because that's that's different I wonder if the chains yeah. could be overloaded in some way. I kind of they're glowing so bright right now. Like I've got my hand on Manny's shoulder and I kind of lean in, just to, like whisper into his ear. She is some sort of divine being. She doesn't come across as particularly divine, but yeah, the <laughs> the burning sensation that you get from. Um, being too close to a divine being, I, I suppose I've, I've never had that before. 
Mm. Well, earlier when I opened up my senses to see the things. Who, who has the highest passive perception? I've got a 14. Not I that. Also, also has a 14. 14. But mine is only for hearing. I have a 14. I just have investigation, not perception. I have a 13 path of perception. Just claim you were investigating the entire time. Well, he never you know. lets me use what I want. Well, I'm 13. <laughs> 13. I'll say 14 is high uh, enough. Um, as, uh, as this happens with Providence and the change, you immediately see above you all 10 skulls hovering around that cage staring down at him oh ooh okay and you start to see them f flame up even brighter I want to like smack the other two like I just thought of something the skull seems yeah. to be acting to her as well and what do that? They're demonic and she is. What? Well, yeah, well, obviously <laughs> celestial. And we'll oh, just let you come down to go back in their rotation. Uh, can... Yeah. I'm just going to fall right to the ground. What are they doing? I'm not down, but. I, I would have, have finished running over there by now, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we're. I'm going to wait for you to. No, 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 whisper. I'm gonna whisper to you guys. Yeah. The skulls got brighter. And, and the chimes went bright too. That's uh, something we didn't see before. We haven't been paying attention as well as we have been. That's never happened anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So if. Huh. Skulls. It's kids and skulls. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Think of what? What? Take out the skulls. I Ow. mean, like, I I would like to. I, I don't I don't like them either, but. What the? You just not see? I saw. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Get out. How, though? Touche. I don't know. Like, we I might need their love help. to take him out. She might be the key. And Arwenus is going to start pacing inside the cage, even though it's a small part, to think. Fane, you start seeing Arwenus twirling that dagger as she's pacing. Okay, I'm gonna like half pay attention to that and also just be like trying to grab at Prue's wrist to stop bleeding and I don't know what happened but this is different than normal and she's on the ground right now. And I'm just gonna be whispering under my breath for Simon over and over again. <laughs> Make her do that again. I don't think we should. Uh, it, Not yet. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Wait until she heals a bit. We don't want her dying on us. We could do it in the mines. Ooh. Then you have the time to move. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is this might be a morning project. Mm-hmm. Sleep on it. Mm -hmm. I would love some healing overnight. <laughs> I'm sitting at one right now. So. <laughs> I, yeah, we all got. I'm sitting at should be unconscious, <laughs> but. We'll, but we'll tell them in the morning. They're busy, but. Yeah. Sure, we're. Yeah. Thing, you see Arnus hurl this dagger right to your face. At mine? Yes. I drop to the ground and. 
We love stabbing people. I think there might be something additionally wrong with these two. He's just kind of whispering this. <laughs> what is going on now? They s seem yeah. to... They were screaming about something earlier that wasn't happening, and now they're diving on the ground, dodging things that aren't there. Either they're seeing something that we're not, or um, they're just fucking crazy. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> You two okay? Um, when I look back at the uh, the other cage, do I see anything? No, she's still pacing. I think she threw something at me, but now I'm not sure, and I'm just gonna try to put. I don't know. I don't know how to help with wrist stab wounds. So I'm just going to grab. Where are you trying wrist. to grab? Uh, where where Prue just got stabbed by. Trying to stop the bleeding on the wrist. As you try to reach down to stop the bleeding, you have the dagger in your hand stabbing your wrist. <laughs> Maybe we're all just tired. A little. I, I don't think this is a typical symptom of fatigue. Let's just get through the night, Manny. Okay. Providence, as you're mm -hmm. laying there, are you trying to sleep or are you just like. Uh, she's kind of like in trauma kind of like effect right now. She's... The you last see time. see Fane starting to dive at you with the dagger. Just scampers back as fast as she can. Like pulling your persimmon, persimmon, persimmon. Where? <laughs> you. Give me wisdom saving throws. Why? Why do they keep saying persimmon? I don't, I don't... know. Isn't that a fruit? I don't see any fruits here. I would have eaten it. That soup is horrid. Ten oh, total. Wow. Providence. Uh twelve. They seem to this suck at making wisdom saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking three ones. Jesus. Hopefully, get that out now and not later when we actually need it. God, yeah. Uh, the the visions been. fade <laughs> and you slowly gain, regain your consciousness. Yeah. Uh, she'll she'll start to crawl back up to standing. Um. Do, do we want Do we want to tell them what we what we saw? Uh, we saw a dagger that she threw at me, but maybe not. Look, and okay, so... everyone with, and <laughs> pointing at the, Glid, and the, the night before we were taken, there was... Uh, there, there was a dagger, and, and it, it was weird. It's like, I, I, I don't use daggers. Like, I carry a giant sword. For some reason, I just really wanted this dagger, but Fane wanted the dagger, and we were, like, fighting over it. We never fight. That's and, true. Uh, and then and then we were like attacking each other, and then, uh, and then the family of the, the house we were we were staying at was like all dead, and then and then we woke up in the morning. It was fine. Mind you, we didn't actually go see if they were fine. We just kind of ran to our job interview. If they were fine, they were fine. Uh, I'm sure they're they were fine. fine. Everything else was fine. They must be fine. And then you you had it, and she points to to glitch. Y you had it, and you you killed her. And, and then you him. killed him, and then you killed yourself. Yeah. We need to get in another cage quickly, Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so at least right on the guys. crazy thing. Dragon. What are you talking about? Thing. Hey, you're the ones that saw some stupid six-headed dragon. All we saw was a, was a dagger. Yeah, but we don't see the dragon anymore. Yeah. And it was real. It wasn't. Uh, so is the dagger. That, it, well, you just said that, I just tried to throw a knife at you. No, you I said I died. That's my bad. A dagger. I can't die. That's no. not possible. <laughs> so the yeah, dagger both was was real at, real at one point, is what you're saying. But now it's just not. It looks as real as it did before. Mm -hmm. 
It's gone. It's gone now. I didn't attack you. I swear. I know. I know. You said the word. Yep. But wait. What is person? Um. Honestly, it was the first word that came to mind when we were thinking of a code word. <laughs> Look, we just we 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 need to know when when we, we want to make sure that we're being safe, and so. If we see the dagger, we say persimmon. It's your safe word. Yeah. Yeah, they just said they use it to stay safe. I mean, I've, I've used the safe word in the past, but it wasn't quite in the same context. Gross, uh, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What context? No, no, uh, no. Please, no. elaborate. Nice. <laughs> Fish bump. <laughs> Try to reach him. <laughs> I was just going to come over here like, no, 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 no. (laughs) Please tell me me they clipped that one. (laughs) (laughs) So when you first encountered this dagger, uh, it was in a family's home that you murdered. No, we We did did not. In their barn. That's where I met Creep. Your mouse. Yeah. I met Cream before we met the dagger. You met the dagger. Well, it's following us. And it was in somebody's <laughs> home. No, it was it was it was stuck to the doorway of the of the barn because someone left a note for us. The note saying I don't remember. Do you Okay. <laughs> I feel like the note's probably important, but sure. I uh, think it went missing the next day, to be honest. I don't think it was there when we woke up in the morning. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I think Providence is the only one that read it. I don't think you read it. That's fair. I don't know if we've decided that Thane can read with my intelligence score, but it's not. Yeah, but I don't think she showed it to you. I think she's the only one that read it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but the the player behind the character may have forgotten what it said. I'm just saying within game, I don't think Providence told Thane Mm -hmm. what it said. Yep. That's okay. Thane would still say, I don't remember. The note had the kitchen rhyme on it. No, no, that's that's a well-known. It, it was kind of like where he thinks the other. I would say cage uh, is Jean Clitch and Arinus has been here long enough. Has probably heard that rhyme. I was gonna say, times. do you guys know of a rhyme with a kitten in it? Yeah. Kitten in the ring. What does it have to do with pirates? Something to do with Nantucket. <laughs> no. She joins no? the Black oh. Order, obviously. A oh, different rhyme. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Alright, it's the Black Order version. I forgot. Yeah. Right. I've something, been, something, I, kitten, I, something. This is kind of what me I meant to give yeah. you this information. Um, oh. uh, for you three that's been here this long, you mm-hmm. do definitely know there is two statues. Going up the stairs to the arena, there is a statue of a tiefling. Yeah. And it below it says Saskia, the founder of the Black Order. And as you get closer to the arena, you see a statue. And this one's actually painted. Ooh. It's flannel. And the way it's designed is so intricately designed, you always wondered who designed it. And this individual is twirling five axes in the air. And under it says, Kita, the famous champion, retired. He looks part tiger in case you need to know. There. Really? John, the, the statues. Yeah, 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 the statues. Statues. The one with the five axes. I think that's what they're talking about. 
Oh, that that one. Yeah. The, the Wait, intricate Kita one. Is it yeah. a kitten? But how would they know? Huh? How would they know that? They never seen it. It's I don't It's Maybe a nursery rhyme reading. that they were saying. There's a champion that was cat like. There's a statue. Of them. Um, retired now. Forest and like got to a temple and killed everyone and then did something with blueberries. Yeah, and I never Maybe. quite understood the blueberry part. Uh Manny, <clears throat> you would know uh traveling around. No, actually take that back. Never mind. Do you want me to roll for it? Yeah, roll a history check. That's a dex. Roll for blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say this. Blueberries, uh, blueberries never washes out. <laughs> I will say this for a sits. You remember, like, almost like every town there's like some sort of blueberry bush of some sort. Like well, wild blueberries you, you everywhere. You did roll high enough to figure out where they originated from. Mm -hmm. Kitten in the arena, fierce and bold. One axe, two axe, chop, chop, chop. Kitten in the forest, stronger than a tree. Three axe, four axe, chop, chop, chop. Kitten in the temple, quiet as a cat. Five axe, silence. Chop, chop, chop. Kitten in the field, stains of blue and red. Blueberries, blueberries, never washes out. Kitten on the yeah. ocean, one axe, two axe, three axe, four axe, five axe, chop. The order is black. You had to say it more angry for that last bit. Black. Black. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Also, the chops need to be more energized. You don't do nursery rhymes very well. Maybe. Maybe there are black berries up here. Well, except that we know about the black order. I mean, maybe they're named after black bears, or maybe blueberries is their safe word. Maybe it is fruit. Maybe Do they see a dagger too. Oh, or just lots of axes. <laughs> Man, I, I really wish I had my abilities. I might be able to help them now, but with these manacles, there's no way to be able to use them. Mm. I mean, you could try. Yes. Yeah, I already tried once. It didn't go well. Maybe you need to try no. multiple times. Don't, don't try. <laughs> no, don't try. So, this is Bad. A <laughs> yeah. Bad idea. Hmm. Even though it's entertaining, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I could try anything else tonight. Speaking of, it is getting kind of late oh you can tell time down here I mean I can tell because my body is tired he's also quite good at noting the position of the stars which he's got an excellent sense of time how do you know where the stars are if you can't see them hmm. how do you know that Robin is sitting right in front of you because I can see her I can't, but I know. Mm. I can hear her. I can feel her. Don't can you feel me, please? Stars? Hey, hey, John. John, come here. Feel the stars. Come here. Are they hot or are they goopy? Not a touch feel. <laughs> I just, just know gonna... that the stars are shining down on me. I have faith. Okay, gotcha. And I'm just gonna walk over to Prom and sit down. Yeah, he's he's right. It, I think it's late. We should. Is it is it late? I don't know, but I'm tired. Uh, having been burned horribly by you, I'm quite tired as well. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Are you scarred? I've, I've really been trying to not make people scarred. Yeah, I do make money off of this, so, um... 
Uh, I understand. Not the face, it's how he makes his livings. Get cut over to Sean, <laughs> Glitch, and Barnus because they were trying to cut in. Uh, does, doesn't the, her power seem to lead to Cravens? Now that you say it, it does. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't see that too often. Uh uh. Or never. Well, we saw it with Craven. We saw it at least once. Wow. Several. Craven, yes. Hmm. We gotta keep her alive. Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. on our side, too. Because if we don't, we're gonna have another Craven situation. Kalis, roll me a perception check with advantage because you're hearing. Twenty-three. Oh yeah. Damn, they're bro. trying to whisper oh. this, but you definitely hear <laughs> every word they're saying. Okay, I'm just gonna Boy. listen. <laughs> and she's the key to getting us out of here. Most likely. Yeah. It's the only time we've ever seen anything affect Similar. those yeah. cuffs. It's when Craven did it, and now her. Yeah. But Craven's see. really in it. The cuffs. Not as often as we are. Right. Right. So... Hmm. Is something to think about on. Maybe we sleep on it. Mm hmm. Def. Definitely. Figure out how to trigger it. Without killing her. We don't want her dead. No. But we gotta stay back. Mm hmm. She's powerful, and you saw what happened to them and us. It hurt. Yeah. Um, yeah. Keep right. her quiet about it. Shoot. Good luck with that one. Yeah. Get away from the skulls. Mm. You know how hard that is. It's always one watching somewhere. But all ten at one place? We've only seen that with Craven. <laughs> you hear one right behind you. You correct? It flies up. Oh, I hate those things. I really hate those things. Oh, they're creepy. <laughs> Deal What's your problem? Animal. We know you like flames like us. <laughs> yeah, and if I could, I would go, but I can't. And you know, it would have hurt us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just gonna go. I need those things. Goddamn. Another right, reason please. to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, huh? My nerves are on the end. <laughs> what is her deity that she always starts to? Oh, I think it was her name. You leave her alone. What? Fine. <laughs> Tell us and remind us who it was so we will leave you alone. I'm not really inclined right now. Fine, we'll just be here all night. It'd <laughs> 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 um, be a shame to put your flea, your, your furs on fire. It'd be a cold night. 
fine, 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 you annoying little loading skull piece of ah Nova. Ah, that's it. Yeah, Nova's on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Ah. What's I don't think that was right. She's telling us a bib. Roll deception check. Come on, something good. Uh, only 11. Yeah, that wasn't her. That's a stupid little familiar. Ah, yeah. You lied to us. Who is? Hmm? Who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? You gotta, you gotta speak more clearly now. They keep on walking, they kind of flutter mm -hmm. off. Works every time. What? Hmm? What? <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> I also rolled a five. But yeah. It's fine. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, is everybody trying to pass out or uh, this yep. Kalis yep. or whatever wanna, after listening Nap to all that? Time. Huh? Nap uh, time. Uh, real time quick yeah. before we go to bed, Manny wants to ask Glitch a quick question. Glitch, all right. do you understand how these manacles work? You seem to be inclined to understand objects. I haven't been able to figure it out. There's magic in them, obviously, but <laughs> anytime I try to tamper with them, you get hurt. Hmm. Well, sweet dreams, you are. Okay, last we need to figure out how to take a watch. How to what? Well, I, I'm slightly worried that the two with us are going to stab us to death in our sleep, thinking that we're carrying an imaginary dagger. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll take first watch. Meanwhile, there's, I'm trying to there's, prove... There's, there's no need to watch. No watch. Yeah, you're not in this cage, <laughs> but we're whispering. I'm whispering as quietly oh, as possible. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm hopefully not overheard as I'm saying this. Like, we're trying to be really quiet. But at the same time, I'm turning to Prue and just like, should, should we keep watch or do we trust them to be good at night? Uh, we should, we should keep watch, but I'm going to, I'm going to sleep like 11 feet away from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but Arnus. I'll, I'll, I'll keep first watch. Mm -hmm. Arnus, uh, one comes back. Ha! I remember. It starts uh. with a V! That's all you're gonna hear from me. Verna, right? Is it, or is it Varna? Verna, Varna? Do you have to be nosy? I just like Bessie with you. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, with no nose there, too, yeah, so. Gotta do, stick your head somewhere. If we weren't bound to not kill you right now, I would. Uh huh, you say that. But get kind of boy, boy up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say that every single time. Not blah, often blah, we blah, come blah, across blah. any prisoners with a fire, DD, and we're flaming skulls. We'd like fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And. <laughs> And they, like, uh -huh. it, like there was spit, but it's a, it's just fire that comes out and lands in the sand. Gross. Ew. That one's for you, little lady. You can get some sleep now. Ugh. What is with these creeps? Ugh. I'm heading to bed, you two. I'm done with this. I'm already in 
that at that point. Yeah. Then we listen to this weird ass <laughs> conversation. Yeah. yeah. The glitch was in bed with this pillow wrapped around his head. Rude. I see how it is. And then our is in the middle of the bed. <laughs> Alright, uh, is people that should keep him watch? Uh, Providence says she's gonna start stay, stay up for the first watch, but she falls asleep. Uh, Kalis is also gonna fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Okay. Any of us get stabbed by the other pair in the middle of the night. Um. And I am explicitly 11 feet away from everyone. <laughs> Does Fane wake up in the middle of the night cold and go and go like back to back with Prue anyway? <laughs> Do we get a long rest? Yeah, I'm about to yes. figure out who I want to mess with the dreams. Ah, fudge. <laughs> Do I get my Do I get the benefits of my long rest before you mess with my dreams? Because otherwise, I'm gonna die. How many hit points do you have left? He has two, I have one. I have six. I'm I have actually seven. doing surprisingly well. All right. <laughs> I think I started with a lot more than most of you, though. <laughs> that is true. I, I won't miss you all tonight for it. Then. Uh, I mean, I'm not, it's not going to deal damage, but I'll, I'll, I'll wait on that. Um, uh, eventually, rest comes to you all. Um, pain, you still have a broken wrist. Yeah, but do I get my hit points back? You get your hit points back, but for continuity's sake, you still have a broken wrist to actually have it properly attend to, attuned to. Yep. Or attuned to, or attended to. Jesus. Yep. But I don't mind attuning to my wrist. <laughs> so, I need Providence, Manny, Kalis and Fain to give me constitution saving throws. Oh, the last one's a good one. Natural 20 on a save, Ooh. but it doesn't do anything. 10. <laughs> Alright. 25. I rolled a 1 for a total of 1. I rolled a 7. Oh no. <laughs> so the only person that got significant enough rest somehow is Providence. Manny, Kalis, and Fane take level exhaustions because you cannot get a good night's rest on this steel cold bars. I was just cuddled back to back with her though. Did we you still rolled a one? <laughs> yes I did. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get a long rest otherwise? You still get a yeah. long rest, but you take a level we of exhaustion. We just take a level of exhaustion. Because Manny doesn't suck already enough. Right? <laughs> so you get your, you can take a long rest, but you'll just take a level of exhaustion on top of it. So you, everything restores, you just have a level of exhaustion. Yeah. Well, just then, because yeah. it's a rough night and you cannot get significant sleep. Or well enough rest. Adequate sleep. There we go. Adequate sleep. There we go. Thank you. As you wake up, the cold breeze from the waters, the sand. You wake up. All right, it's time to get your breakfast. That same old, that same uh, dwarf and minotaur that comes walking up with some servants. All right, it's time to eat up and eat hearty. You'll have a long day in the mines. We got some more tunnels to dig. Got to span this city. Can I go in the arena? Yeah, I go with her. I don't I'm think feeling... you're ready for the arena, yeah. No, I'm feeling really great. Like, really energized. Mm. No, she needs to go to mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the reports from the skull says otherwise. Oh, great. You're not... Really nice. I had like a good like seven hours of sleep. It's great. Need... I too am ready for that. You need to have your wrist properly attended to. You can do that in the arena. Yep. 
Uh, nah, Annette's time for the arena. And... Um, I just said that she can tend to my wrist in the arena. Oh, <laughs> she can. Okay. You said you could tend to it in the arena, and that's all I heard. I was like, what? The Nets fight is not for a fortnight. So. Where's the fort? Hmm, where's the fort? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a measurement of time. Well, just say how long it is that. Uh, eat your breakfast and eat hearty. And uh, they lay these fresh trout. Freshly cut. And, Are they uh, cooked? And they're cut and they hand them to Arvinus, Glitch, and Champier. What they hand to you are these little pieces of um, gold goldfish like fish and lay them in front of you. Are these ones cooked? They're cut. They're just no. not very big. Do you, have, do you have enough to eat? Yeah. Are you sure? I can. You can have mine. No, no, no you eat yours. Okay. And Glitch will eat. eat half of his. Throw it over. The rest over. Is like half of yours like four times the size of ours? <laughs> yep. Probably. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ten. Oh, th Alive. Thank you. And she'll like tear off a chunk and give some to Manny and and to Kalis and to Fane. I'll take the little bit that's left of my fish and throw it at Glitch. <laughs> <laughs> she says thank you. That too. <laughs> hey, let's go on back. <laughs> Pretty quick. Are uh, you throwing it right back? Uh, oh, yeah. I will be right back. <laughs> Oh, if this turns into a game of catch, I'm for it. Oh my god. Through bars. I was about to say, you probably should have done a roll in there and make sure you didn't hit a bar, but... but uh... He looks really skilled at throwing fish. Yep. Alright. I am not. <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad we made friends to decompress by... decompress from uh, last night and you need extra until you might have overheard but I would be also asking the dwarf how he lost his eye give a persuasion check sure you're missing an eye that's a nine my first natural 20 of the campaign <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that, Missy. Such tales are not for a beautiful, fine lady like yourself. Did you cry when it happened? Or, like, from the one eye that was left? Can you cry from that hole? <gasps> That'd be cool. Or does it, just, like, <clears throat> fill up on the inside? Sorry, we just have lots of questions. Who'll pay for these fools? Yeah, who paid for us? Uh... The Minotaur just unfolds the thing. Ah, yeah. That's a nasty, but like, y'all have fun in an arena, and then he just kind of walks Today? off. Wait, where is this physically? The scroll when he opened it up. Like, how far away is it? Way to peek over his shoulder at some point. You're not able to. Because they're in front of you, and they just kind of roll it up and look at it, so you only see the bat side of the scroll. Is there any light coming from the far side so we can read through it? And does he just keep You're the scroll? You're underground on? city. Yeah. Does he, does, does he just keep the scroll on him at all times? Is there a way to find out where it is for later? Um, uh, it's attached to the back of the belt. And that was on the Minotaur? You see, uh, the Minotaur, yeah. And you've seen, like, a few other scrolls probably attached to the back of the belt. 
Mr. Bullman, I think you need to learn how to give slightly gentler um, high fives. <laughs> you got another one. Don't Nikki, touch her. Don't do that. Can what? I have a high five from the other hand? Actually, Prue said no. I probably shouldn't. She's smart. <laughs> Uh -oh. Did you cry when that happened? You dumb me strong in what's off. You're not you're not dumb. Hey Prue. Do you think do you think there are eyes or holes? And I'll just kinda jerk my head towards Kalis. I think they're actually just like, kind of like what happened to Manny. I think they're like covered skin. Oh, like with his with his face hole. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I th think I think. Ooh, he really he says he can feel stars. Maybe there are stars in his eye holes. Oh, that's a little that's a little magical. Wouldn't be like seeing like like glowing from his blindfold. Maybe. Well, what if it's a really good blindfold? Oh yeah, yeah, good. Point. No, I think I think it's like I think it's like like skin covered like what happened to Maddie's mouth. All right, um, yep. I will when we if we ever get money, I will put two silver on that. Done. Okay. Uh, Fane is not being quiet. <laughs> I mean, Kalis is over powerful hearing. Definitely yeah. heard all that. Yep. And I am just in the corner praying. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. Good. What I missed? Uh, um, Fane and crew making a bet on what's behind Kalis's uh, blindfold. Mm. Yeah. Oh. You know you want in on this bet. You is Banny even here? He wandered off. Oh, I think I'll see his message. Mm -hmm. hey, sorry, my kids came home, so I had to deal with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we do mining, do they give us like shovels or pickaxes? Because I could use that as a weapon. Not a good idea. Nope. Would I be a minor minor? Yes. Cool. <clears throat> yep, you can join the other ones. There's a few over there. Hmm. Mm. Well, um, maybe less cool now. Yeah, this place sucks. I will only be here for a few few days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the so the new plan. New plan. We just win the arena. Okay, that's a much simpler plan than all the other. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny. I mean, I don't see why we couldn't. As he like stands up from his prayers. <laughs> Okay, I mean, just because you win a fight doesn't mean you win the arena. You gotta no, but we win really well. Yeah. Crew's amazing. Have we not survived these two years at all with any experience? I, it, yeah, it's not it's with just... us. We have won so many fights. It is... Well, now you're just bragging. I, yeah. Well, this cage is kind of bragging, if I do say so. That point. Mm -hmm. It's an impressive toothbrush that you have now. Hey, it's better than nothing, place, okay? There's got to be a way out. Yeah. It's just hard to find. And we'll find it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, 
and she's gonna okay. start <laughs> nursery rhyme under her breath again. Uh, a couple of the soldiers come up. Looks at Providence. Says, "Yes, that's her." Yeah, it's me. Oh. <laughs> what do you want? We will, Are we fighting? We'll inform him properly, and they walk off. Shoot, shoot, yeah, you walk shoot, off. Shoot. Uh oh. Just keep on walking. That's Ooh. not good. That's not good. No, no. Does Oof. this have to do with that Craven guy you were talking about last night? Excuse me, what? Probably. Huh? No, 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 I can't believe it was a page. How do we... He's blind. He's probably good at hearing. I don't know. Yeah, I have Owen ears, and that don't mean I can hear everything. Well, you aren't blind. Oh. Does that mean the ears. dwarf can Such hear, like, light. slight... Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so you heard... Oh, God. Yeah, what does that have to do with her? Damn it. Her powers are similar to Craven's. If he knows, this is not good for us. I, I don't have any powers. I just have some some, some stuff I trained at the at the uh, at the uh, at, uh, uh. at the temple. And I just I just don't really know how to use it. That's all. And and she can explode really cool. Yeah, that's the thing. That's similar that's, to Craven's. That's the part. Yeah, but Prue is cooler. Fine, but. <laughs> Okay. Who is this Craven guy? He's the champion of the arena. Not for long. Oh, so we beat him. Yeah. Uh, Kylas, I'm liking you so much better now. I like this attitude. Let's just beat him. Hmm. I I'm just gonna walk away on that one. I'm just gonna turn away and just go, oi. There's, he's the champion of the arena, and he's still locked up. We'd love to beat him in the arena. That'd be a fun time. <laughs> yeah, one and on one, me dead? No, thank you. Gonna be here. Winning the arena does not get you out. Nope. But you've never done it, because you're not the champions. So how do you know? He's still with those chains on the- okay. Craven's still here. Maybe by choice. Like, he probably has a better place than you. Well, yeah, that's obvious. Do you think he gets paid well? Oh. Yes. Right, maybe he's just really enlightened and thought, I have a good thing going here. Can we add to the plan and it's we win the arena and then keep getting paid really well? I, I think that works. I think that's like a given. Can we... Are we sure this is a good idea, Glitch? To and a John? quick circle back. And we're still in separate cages? Yeah. We need to get her minds. You really think about it. Is any idea a good idea? True. And we what gotta Kayla's? make her do her thing. Like, Providence I... said she. Do you not know what you do? No, I just I I trained at a, at a temple. I have some you know standard you know holy warrior kind of paladin type skills. You know, you, can, you know, put my hands down, lay lay them on people, heal them, kind of cure wounds yeah. every once in a while. Consume yourself with divine energy. I don't know what you're talking about. What you did to us yesterday? I, 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 I don't know what that is. That just happens. I, I just assume it's... Uh, okay, so... I may have left my training... Kind of early. It was boring. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just... Maybe, maybe I just like... Maybe like I tapped into something... And now I can't really. But I fight good. 
Emotional damage! How they get tree juice so they can make syrup? Do they tap into stuff? Not that kind of tapping. Okay. Oh, no, no, exactly like that kind of tapping. Yeah. Yes! Just not, just not physically. We don't, I'm... don't put anything into her. Well, I don't yeah. have anything to put into her. Yeah, and it's called a spile when you put it into the tree. Okay. Facts. Big brain fame today. I'm learning yeah. it all. Anyway, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I have to assume that's what it's from. Can I inside that? Go ahead. Do I have to okay. roll anything? Either, I guess, deception or the other one, persuasion, if I think. Okay, one was a natural 20, but I have disadvantage, so I have a level of exhaustion. Thanks, you're going to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the other one? The lower, the lower one. Okay, I rolled a 16, but I have a plus. Where is insight? I have a plus three, so it's a 19. Okay, I just rolled an 18 on my persuasion check. So you um, really are this clueless. You, you, you get the feeling that I'm telling you the truth. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Eventually, the soldiers come and start pulling everybody out of these chains. Or not out of chains, out of the cages. Hmm. And there's this long rod that they bring out. It's a good 20 feet long. They bring like, like four of them. Start latching all these prisoners onto the chains. And you can tell a bunch of these are definitely not... Uh, especially my three has been here for a while are definitely never fighting arena because they're not strong enough for athletic or talented enough to survive and um they're bringing up a cage for all of you or not cage a, a rod for all of you and they attach you all to the rod and start leading you to the tunnels the mines our day's work. Mining's gonna suck with a broken wrist. <laughs> it's okay. No, just just stick with me. I'll I'll do the mining. I'll just hit twice as hard. Don't worry. Mm. And I right. think that's where we'll cut it for tonight. As y'all hit. No, I wanted some exciting mining. So <laughs> 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 Bastion really wanted to mine last time, so he would have loved this. I'll we'll have to get some exciting <laughs> mining in next week. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, it's, it's not really mining, you're digging tunnels, is basically what you're doing. But mining is kind of part of it because you find, sometimes you find some gold or whatever dug out or whatever as you're mine, making tunnels. It's basically what y'all do. Cool. And I mm -hmm. think that's where we'll pick up next week. Good session. Alrighty. Uh, good good get along not really didn't really have to immediate too much but uh thank you everybody for watching i forgot i think i forgot to do this top of the show too if you're watching on youtube please like and subscribe leave a comment down below what's your favorite part i always forget that part for some reason thank you for all the lovely raiders thank you old man garris for the nice compliments for the overlays and that uh emotional damage for perfect timing <laughs> You guys didn't hear it because I can't, you know, I can't share sound alerts to you guys for some reason. But uh, thank you all the love, the two raids from Rusty Tonnets. Let's get another shout out for Rusty and Hasbro, please. Uh, thank you for the lovely raids, bringing your community over. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Again, we're just starting out. This was episode one, and uh, just setting up some great things, we're telling good stories here. Um, yeah, some stuff has kind of already dropped and hinted at. It's really good. And uh, I can't wait for it to come out a little bit more. One last time for Run Room. Uh, JR, what you got for the your streams? 
well, when I can get my controller from being unbroken as I was traveling, then I will start playing some more Skyrim. Uh, we're doing some random one shots at random times. So I can't really say a schedule right now, but uh, but come up, drop me a follow, and you'll get an alert whenever that happens. And then eventually, Tomb of Annihilation and Hobbit Cores will resume weekly at some point. All right. And uh, make sure we get a shout out for JR. And then uh, our uh, so uh, we'll call you right character name Silver Wolf. What do you what you got going on for yours? Uh, hopefully Labyrinth tomorrow at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. We'll see on that one. Actually earlier, sorry. It's 4 p.m. I believe. Ish. Around there. Not sure yet. Still have to work in the details. But definitely on Friday for Apex at 7 p.m. Mountain Time like normal. And then the week after, I got a big surprise that we're going to do with a collab with two other streamers. So this is going to be fun. And uh, next time we're live on this channel will probably be tomorrow. I got a lot of painting to do. I'm so far behind. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, don't remind me. Uh, I got so much <laughs> painting to do, and uh, I'm still 3D painting or printing a lot of stuff too. Painting, printing, 